G'day everyone, Maxi here. Obviously a bit of a different voice welcoming you today to the seventh installment of the System and the Hustle Squad podcast. But JP's got me on the introduction today, so I'm going to give her a whirl. Basically, myself and Mayo flew down to Melbourne last Friday on the 16th of December just to finally meet up with the boys, chat some shit and obviously film this podcast in which Mayo and I kind of just wanted to both touch on, give some insight and share what we've been able to achieve so far after starting match betting and the system around a year ago and how much of a piss take it's been so far in regards to the profits we've made and how how much ease we've been able to make the profits in. We also share some funny stories around what we tell our parents and what our parents tell their friends about what we do to make our money and how we make so much money online. We've both made close to $50,000 so far, which is honestly unreal. And we just also wanted to touch on how we've been able to both manage and fit this into our own lifestyles. We hope you guys really do enjoy this podcast as much as we both enjoyed filming it. It was an absolute blast to film, and I definitely recommend giving this one a listen. My name is Mayo, more commonly known as Points Bet Account Moderator. I also came down to Melbourne to film the podcast with the boys, and it was definitely a bloody hoot. Uh, Basically, coming into the podcast, I wanted to share my insights into how I've managed to create my own system to utilize the Hustler Squad to better follow Trumpy's tips and how that scaled up my operation, which allows me to multiply my profits. As well as that, I spoke about my worst day in my 15 month match betting career, where I let my emotions get the better of me and I took my anger out against my wall. If you want to reach out to the boys, feel free to do so via Instagram or check the relevant links in this video description. I hope you all enjoy and make sure you show JP some love with that fresh new cut of his. Welcome everyone to another episode of the System and the Hustler Squad podcast. We've got two special guests here today, Mayo and Max, who've come in from interstate. Formerly known as Wally. 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 So Max is Wally and Max is we've Wally. got PointsBet moderator as well. PointsBet Mod- account moderator. He actually moderates the accounts over at PointsBet. <laughs> I will um, He's good at it. <laughs> but uh, welcome on board, guys. You've obviously flown in this morning, picked you up nice and early and um, just had some nice breakfast. Um, and now we can just chat some shit with the boys. So also welcome Tom and Steve. Cheers, um, mate. Today we're probably just going to talk about nothing planned at all. Um, we just talk shit about the kind of stories around betting around what you guys have been able to achieve at such a young age and I guess inspire others to be able to not only see what you've done, um, but also now what can be built from that. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I don't know if we want to get into... Do you guys want to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about what you've been able to achieve first or do you just want to talk shit and ask questions? I reckon just give us like a rundown of how long you've been in the communities and probably how much you've made and then we can just go from there to yeah. answer some more specific questions and then talk some rubbish about what being in the community involves. So maybe if you want to start, Mayo, give us a rundown of how long you've been in the community, what you've been doing, and maybe a rough profit figure to start. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I have started following the system. It would have been ah, uh, exact date, not sure, probably 16, 15, 16 months ago or something like that. Um, I, actually, funnily enough, a mate introduced me to it. He was following you guys with like a $1 unit size, and I was like... <laughs> Oh, you know. Was he turning over bonus bets on a $1 unit? No, he was just gambling. Oh. You wouldn't be. He was gambling. $1 he was gambling. 65 cents. 65 cents. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll hop on and see how it is. Yeah, you know, I started off the $5 unit size. So it wasn't flash. But, you know, uh, when I did join, I was in high school. So, um, you know, it was a bit hard on a Wednesday and things like that. But uh, <laughs> as I got used to it, um, I made the decision when I kind of understand what you guys did um, and I contacted JP, joined the Hustler squad, um, probably only started with about two grand. Uh, w- been working my way up since and I've probably, you know, scaled and raised things up definitely over the last six months-ish it's when I've probably been making the real money um, from match betting. But yeah, other than that, um, just been smooth sailing from mm. then on. Rough profit figure, like bought. Like you don't have to give it exactly yeah, this, but are we talking um, fifty plus, hundred plus? What are we talking? Nah, um, should be aimed to hit fifty, um, probably in a couple of weeks. Nice. Um, would be a nice fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah, fifty bucks, fifty cents. <laughs> no, it, it would be nice to for those at home. That's fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, fifty sheets. Don't want my mates give you a shit now that I've unveiled the figure. Nah, that's fine, mate. They they, (laughs) they have the opportunity to be able to do that as well. Yeah. I'm sure that they're probably not, but... Nah, it'd be a good New Year's present, that's for sure. Yeah, it's Um, nice. You know, going from, you know, working 30 hours a week at McDonald's, 
you know, just wanted to kill myself the whole time to work <laughs> for, in for three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to but work you, in. you were um, we we did a video with you last year. Probably probably people remember you with the guy yeah. who was working at Macca's. Yeah, Europe. I probably only made two thousand back then. Oh mate. Um, but now obviously that's been yeah. multiplied quickly. Oh, Something we'll touch yeah. on later as well is scaling. I want to talk to the fellas about that, yeah. but we yeah. won't do that now. Yeah. So that's yeah. awesome. So you're about to tick over 50, 50 kilos, which is huge. <laughs> Maxi, kilos. why don't you um, give us a little bit of a rundown? How long? I know you've done a, like we've done a little podcast with yeah. you, but people wouldn't have seen that and this is probably going to be a bit bigger. So how long? How, first of all, how old are you? 18. 18. And so 18. how long have you been doing it for since you turned um, 18? Yeah, pretty... Oh, well, it was kind of... I got the free month. Oh, I remember that. Eh? Yeah, I was just I about to ask. Month. That was yeah. you. You're like, yeah, I'm about to turn me. 18. I was, se- I was 17. So. Yeah. Watched their lives. Um, got the free month. Yeah. Waited till I was 18 and pretty much jumped on straight away. Um, I remember one of my first days. I was at watching the footy finals for the, just like local, and just pays pays like ten dollar bets here and there, yeah. screaming, cheering. But yeah, same uh, kind of similar situation to to Mayo. I was at school, you know, just putting bets on, and then un- like kind of. It just like clicked, and I was like, "Let's, let's, you know, go full, full kind of have a crack." Yeah, have mm. a crack at it, and then exploded from there. Um, went from twelve dollar fifty units to twenty five fifty, and now at hundreds, obviously. And yeah, similar fifty k just ticked over in over, a bit over a year. So yeah, it's pretty unreal. It's a lot of money, isn't it? I think it what's is. very interesting with both of you, and it's great to hear as well, is that. You've both started on pretty sort of conservative unit sizes. Obviously, Mayo, you started on five dollar unit size mm-hmm. and was twelve fifty your starting. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that was starting unit sizes, and you were both pretty sort of comfortable doing that. You wouldn't have been making you know a lot of money for those first sort of month or two on those no. unit sizes, but you would have been consolidating the concepts, understanding everything, getting the confidence up in it, and then now have a look at you. All of a sudden, you can literally see how that sort of profit graph just literally exponentially increases. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's always better to make the mistakes when you're on a five dollar unit size. You know, we should yeah, jump yeah, in and so. have like you know fifty hundred dollar unit size, and then realize you know you've mucked up something and you've put yeah. on the wrong bed, or you know you've you know mixed up your dutching or something, and you've just lost that much money. With five dollars, you know, it's a bit. I was going to ask, like, when you started, was was two way dutching or like turning a bonus over? Was that a foreign concept? Mm. Had you heard of that before? Did you know what that entailed? No. Nah. Nah, nah, I absolutely know nothing. I didn't even know you could beat the bookies. I'm like, they're that big. There's no way you can make money off of them. Like, Fair enough. And what were you guys, if you got bonuses, which you probably would have been before the system, just yeah. punting them or? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you'd put on, I don't know. Well, for me personally, it was like, I'd chuck like, a, you know, three, four legs, yeah. same game multi on a footy, get a bonus from it. Pretty standard. Probably put on like another 15 leg multi or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's nice. Course. I yeah. think the good thing about both of you as well is, in some form or capacity, I know Maxi now does a lot of the customer service stuff for us, which is awesome. Like you've been in the community for almost a year. You're able to help new people. And it's good that we have, you know, instead of them hearing from myself, JP or Steve, or they're like, you know, these guys are fucking losers. These guys, you know, yeah. they're no fun at no, parties. Like these guys, you know, they're so yeah. structured. They're so boring. But to have people that have been in our community now help other people, I think it's easier for the people that start now. Not only do they have more content, but they hear from people that have actually been through exactly so like i listen to some of the stuff you speak to new subs about and it's like mate like i know i understand the frustration or i know we didn't make much profit this week yeah. or i know you've got heaps of bonuses to turn over and it can be a bit of a pain but you know i've done it man and now i'm you know i started twelve dollar fifty now i'm hundred dollar unit sizes and mayo you do a lot of stuff in like the free chat which is awesome and you know you help out a lot of the sa subscribers right. who yeah. you know have very different promos and they can get a bit overwhelmed or you know yeah. the promo list isn't going to work for you but you can do this you can do that and I think you both do a good job of um, when people are in the chat and they're new and they're like, oh, fuck, this is frustrating or we desperately need a winner or, oh, you know, it's going to be, it's a tough day and we're like four races in and new blokes are like, you know, relax. Yeah, it keeps boys. it personal like, as well. Yeah, if, like you're here, if you're I here, did for, it, why can't if you're here for 12 months, like yeah. you're not going to remember this four race period where we didn't yeah. back a winner. So I think it's nice to have you guys um, in the community now and helping out massively. I think it's a bit of a reality check for people, you know, 12 18 months ago when we were making content people as i said would think that myself jp and steve these guys are just losers that don't gamble and you know they're, yeah, they're all shit. maths and they're making yeah. a little bit of money or this is a full-blown fucking scam and now here we are recording our i don't know 10th 15th podcast or interview and more legitimate content you blokes are here you, you both nearly made 50 or you've both made 50k so it's 100k between two 18 19 yeah. year olds like can we just That's like piece think take. about how yeah. much cash that it is? is. Like, yeah. It's unreal. We're joking about 50K it. 50k in 12 months. Like, yeah. yeah. They're on. just like, oh, yeah. how much you made? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 55k. 
And then he's like, I have 46K. And <laughs> yeah. it's like, bro, you've made like... Most people at island. your age would have oh, 1,500 bucks in their bank account. It's true. <laughs> and, <laughs> but it's not only like, I don't care about the money. It's you'll like, without knowing it now, be literally 10 years ahead of most yeah, of your, yeah, like, yeah, not competitors, but the people your age are like going to be behind you. And this is a massive head start. What were we saying? It's uh, the tax. What's that like 90K? Salary? Oh, if you eighty no, k, you're probably like around 80, 75, 80 if, you make, if you're on, yeah, yeah, if you're on yeah. like a seventy five k salary, that's what it would be after tax. So, yeah. like that's and you guys still have the ability. Uh, I think you don't work at, anymore on the side, or you do. Oh, so I was the only reason I was working six hours a week delivering pizzas yeah. just to tell you know family and friends. Yeah, look, I do have a job. Yeah. <laughs> just, just to seem just for that. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like it. And, you know, thinking about it, I was like, oh, why, the, why am I doing this for like 0.25 units an hour? Like, <laughs> How about Maxi? He's like, yeah. I'll, I'll catch yeah. an Uber over in one unit. Yeah, yeah. Half, <laughs> half a unit. You just start talking in yeah. units. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Pick him up, save him, save like, him half a unit. You'll be at a bar and you're ordering a drink. It's like, fuck, 0.15 units on that. Come on, mate. Like, you start thinking about things in units and it just oh, it cracks me up. But, nah, well, I'm not working much at the moment, just enjoying a little break. Um, but you do yeah. a bit of, you work. Yeah, I training. still work. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. That, like that's the other thing people are like, oh, you know, I don't have time to do it or I don't want to commit to it or it's such effort and like you're still working on the side whenever you want, which is the beauty of it. You're still working normally yeah. and just... Like, like it can become an effort, but when you look at the hours you're putting into work yeah. for the return or the couple of hours you put in a night for like what this can return and does return, it's... Yeah, it just I think it. the misconception is like when you start doing match betting, you're just going to make all this money. And yeah. you know, some weeks it'll be a slog. Like you'll you'll yeah. be doing 20 hours or 15 hours for you guys that are making more money, and you might only make five, six, seven hundred bucks, and you'll be like, fuck. That's a sh-. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you give perspective, but that's yeah. like, oh, you know, that's a shit week. And then other weeks yeah. you might make like two or three k from doing the exact same amount of work, mm. and it's like, fuck. It's, yeah, and it's you're worth working it on again. the side. It just all yeah. comes out in the wash. Yeah, yeah. you just yeah, got to keep at it. So, and as JP said, like, gives you a massive head start to have that kind of money. Like, when I was 18, not only did I only have, like, 200 bucks when I got back from schoolies, but also, like, until I was, like, 22, I would still be, like, my spare cash, I still would have been punting it and stuff. Like, mm. that's the other thing that is not taken into consideration. Like, you're not going to gamble. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Pro- like, like you might still have a punt, whatever, but you're not going to lose thousands yeah. or tens of thousands over the next 10, 15 years, like most other 18 to 30-year-olds, because you know that you can make profit doing this other yeah. thing, which I reckon is yeah. sick. And that's something that nobody ever factors in when they're looking at the unit's profit or how much you make from match betting. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, but how much are you not going to lose from understanding that punting is ridiculous Yeah, if you do it every week? I think what Steve was saying um, on the podcast you guys uploaded yesterday about like the quick, you know, um, succession instant. of instant gratification yeah. that like, the youth are looking for. Like just literally from the school I go to, the amount of people that punt like out of 180 co- cohort of boys you could probably get away with saying 33 like one in three are gambling like at least 10 bucks a week yeah and once as soon as they hit like you know working a high school job 20 bucks an hour whatever as soon as you hit like full-time employment if they've still got that in the back of their mind that's when it starts to get like a well, bit dangerous that's yeah. what was also so i think you might have said it or jimmy said it as well it's like you're building these you're neural building pathways. these habits you're building these neural pathways you broke it down very scientifically to the brain but essentially you're building habits and all of a sudden you know it's it's much like you increase your unit size as your capital increases mm. following the system right if you're punting as an 18 year old and you're making 200 bucks a week and you're betting 20 bucks of that you're betting 20 percent of your basically income coming through all of a sudden when you get to 25 you're on 75k a year working full time you know straight out of uni or whatever it may be all of a sudden you're punting seven and a half grand or 15 grand that's still 20 percent. so like all of a sudden the thrill five bucks as an 18 year old might seem quite insignificant you can say but you're building those neural pathways you're building those habits you're normalizing yourself to losing money so then all of a sudden when you get to 25 when you get to 30 then you you go oh well i can i can afford to lose 20 grand because i'm making 75 grand it's no different to losing 20 bucks if you're losing yeah. 200 yeah, earning you 200 bucks it. Yeah. and it just gets used to it and then all of a sudden you can really see how then you know it just turns into a spiral it's a hole, yeah yeah it's a hole yeah and I can afford to lose. Yeah, you probably can. Like, you're not going to be yeah. homeless. But it's like, but what could you be doing with that money if you didn't lose it? And I think, again, people are like, yeah, I'm just betting, what, like, within my means, whatever. And that's yeah, fine. just like, for fun. Yeah, yeah like, just for cool. Fun. It, it might be fun every now and then. But, like, I, I'm not saying you're going to be homeless if you keep gambling or that you're going to, you know, it's going to ruin your life. And it does for some people. But 
it's like it's not that man it's like what can you actually be doing like every time you put 200 bucks in your sports bet account what could you have done with that money and i think like people don't think about that and it'd be what i've been saying to a few people that have been dming us had one guy this morning and he's like i really need help i'm punting way too much like what's some advice and yeah like i'm not a psychologist or anything but just write down why write down what happened to the last bet you placed did it win or lose how much did you lose and then write down why you're actually placing the bet. Like if you're sitting at home on a Friday night watching the footy with your missus, like why why do you have a twenty dollar ten league same game multi on? Like that ain't fun, brother. Like, Especially when you're going for one of the teams. Yeah, like, like that, that, that like is what not Hustle fun. Haley said, like so many of my, my like my mates, like I've related to that so much. Like they're going for, they go for Geelong, but they need mm. someone on the Handles other team to, to get one more touch. Yeah, yeah. And they don't even care when the team wins because they're multi loss. It's yeah. just like it ruins it, bro. Yeah, like what are you doing? So Literally. yeah, that's that's the yeah. It's frustrating, but well, it is what it is. I feel like more people are starting to come around to it and hearing stories from you guys who are just you know average Joes. No yeah. offense, like well, we all yeah, are, like, we all just, are average, yeah. just average, just average Joes. Like, like, nah. Yeah, but you're not like what I mean is like you're not brainiacs. You're not these yeah. people that like woke yeah. up and you're born with all this discipline or oh I'm never gonna gamble. I'm so structured. Blah blah yeah. blah. Like you guys used to punt, I assume. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's doing it in fucking school. Yeah. Well, he's in class. We still yeah. you know, start oh, following the system. That, that many people, just like you'd always, you know, walk into school Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Yeah. locker room chat, just be like, oh, you know, what NBA multi you got for today? Yeah, bring your little notes. That's, that's, that's far different. Enough. We went to school like 10 years ago, yeah. Like, We're not that finished. much older than you, and that yeah, is full like, difference. Yeah. Yeah. I remember everyone created a sports bet <laughs> account in 2000 and <laughs> like a, a bunch of us created a sports bet account back in when we were like 16, 17. Yeah. And I remember we all got bonus bets and we never put our own money in, but we, I think we just must have got bonuses without putting any in. I can't even remember. And like, all, that long like ago. three or four of my mates managed to get the bonus up and they were making it in their mum or dad's name and they couldn't withdraw it, so they just ended up punting it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh, yeah. it's just like back then, though, to talk about same game multis and stuff, which is unheard of. Like, no one yeah. would do it. We just didn't have the access. Like, I remember yeah. my phone in year 12 was like a. Nokia yeah. like had one of those ones that yeah, had every yeah. single button on the phone yeah. Yeah. it was like, slide up, like the slide, slide up yeah I had one yeah. of those there for a bit and it's just like you literally couldn't one, it, Facebook no, was no, like this terrible like app that no, you could maybe oh, update yeah. your status there was no way we'll check them to everyone by like posting on their wall and yeah shit. yeah, like, yeah that's how you no do DMs or anything you poke like, them yeah yeah, poke. Yeah. poke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. But like, we didn't have apps. Like, we didn't have the next race at Mandurah telling us it's about to jump nah, in seven yeah, seconds. You're back to winner last time. Yeah. Come to back book notifications. Yeah. Yeah. The more you oh, look at shit. it, like, it's so easy to see how people are going to get fucked over. So easy. Like, from, from the progression of looking at that extreme of a touch phone with buttons, yeah. no apps, to then now, like, a screen that will literally tell you the countdown in seconds, like, Actually when puts the next bet on yeah. It's just going to make you place the bet. Or text yeah. you, as Max, you said, like, a couple yeah. bookies, like, oh, you back this horse last time it's running in three minutes and they text you like and points will tell you if it won too they do that yeah. you, you back the winner yeah, like what are you gonna do when you open it up well, let's go yeah. again yeah. like literally that should and be probably jumping like 20 classes like it's just 60 dollar odds like yeah. you just think because yeah, you backed just, it last time back to yeah. Yeah. as well like, yeah. it's, it's fucking ridiculous you hear yeah. people say that all the time it's like nah this one always wins yeah. like yeah. what do you mean <laughs> all of a sudden oh, if it's in a complete knows, different mate. race yeah. it, like just somehow like yeah one last throws time. an extra leg like <laughs> what yeah it's dumb i've got um a question we were joking about it before um both of you actually and we were talking about like what you tell your parents yeah we we're talking yeah, about max first like what you were saying yeah i was saying like my Obviously, everyone's like going to uni my age, like doing something. Tr- like you know, mum talks to people and their, you know, their sons going to uni yeah. and becoming something, and yeah, mum just doesn't know what to say. Like <laughs> what, they go, like, "What's Max doing?" And she goes, oh, "Match like, betting." Yeah, like, <laughs> like what do they say? Like it, they just don't know what to say. So, like she just says, like works at a cafe and like you know horse investor no, or some shit like horse yeah, investor. No, they, don't, they don't know what to say like even i don't know what to say like yeah. if i try whatever i want tell someone yeah I, i'm what i want but yeah like if i try to tell someone what i do they just think i'm a mug yeah, or like even so. if you like at work you go like i've got a, like a few mates i work with um you know you tell them oh this just won like i just want 100 bucks like it's a couple of hours work and then then they go yeah but how much did you lose mm-hmm. i'm like yeah, yeah well 
None, brother. Check yeah. the spread. Yeah, I'm a hundred bucks up. Yeah, check, this, <laughs> check the spread. Literally. Literally. Check the spread. Yeah. I remember I was working Woolies a few years ago. I was match betting real heavily into it. And I was talking to a guy there and I was like, he was like, oh, I was telling him about what, what I do. But I didn't explain match betting. I was just like, oh, yeah. I sort of like pro gamble. That's how I sort of used yeah. to describe it. Like not professionally, but you know, Can't you don't, you don't want people, tax. you don't want to like, say When you look you, at it, it, it yeah. actually is really professional. Like, yeah. The, Except do, for it's... outside of the tax loophole. Yeah. Well, you know, they, yeah. If they start taxing you, they're going to have to tax yeah. All the losses everything of yeah so good luck. but yeah i was sort of so that's how i'd sort of say it to people i'd be like oh it's, it's sort of professional gambling you know it's very mathematical people are like, oh yeah oh, yeah i'm a good gambler too and then they'd start telling you about their, <laughs> their and stories. you're like no 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 <laughs> no no yeah, no, 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 no. yeah last week yeah, i saw this one it's like, like yeah, no 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 well, this isn't what i do mate like, yeah, yeah it's like oh yeah my mate does that and i'm like yeah. does he like does he use promos and stuff oh no he just like backs up on yeah, saturday always back no he loses mate he doesn't tell you yeah yeah what about you or you apparently your family's real big in their comp- your mum's friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people that mum hang around, they always you know chatting shit about what their kids are doing. So you know when everyone else's parents are saying, "Oh yeah, he's got a job, he's doing this," you know, he's going to get into this uni course, he's doing this, whatever. It's like, oh, what's Mason doing? I'm like, oh, he's she's got two options. She can say working at a pizza shop, <laughs> doing six hours a week, just staying at home every day going out with his mates or he's a professional match better and she doesn't even know what it is yeah. so she's like oh, oh he, he makes money from gambling so that's what she just ends up saying after yeah. time they'll just get big frowns but yeah. you can still yeah. do oh, yeah. like you can still do your uni course or whatever you want to do yeah. or if you're like if you're passionate in working full time yeah, you, you want to work through, through the yeah. finance industry or whatever like you can do it like steve's 27 i don't know how 27 mm, 27 yeah and steve's been working full time for like you know Five years and still been doing it. Like, yeah, until, until, until today. Yeah. <laughs> so like job, you can dude. like it's still possible. Like <laughs> when I woke up to it all like properly and started to go hard with JP, I was working full time as well. Like yeah. it's definitely possible to do whatever you want to do and match bet on the side. And it's probably like even easier to match bet on the side as opposed to like if you're at uni and then you want to be working like, you know, you want to be making five, six, seven hundred bucks a week, you have to work like twenty five, thirty hours a week yeah. on top of your studies. Like that's that's a fucking big workload. Like Learn match betting and you know take the stress out of it. Like that's what I did when I started doing it through uni. Paid for all my travels, everything. Mm. Like bloody expensive to do the shit that you want to do today, and it's pretty hard to do it through. Yeah, well, I think twenty five bucks working, an hour. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I think probably one of the biggest reason people don't or jump off the service or don't join, but generally jump off the service is that they're just too busy or preoccupied on Saturdays. You know, generally these people are sort of mid thirties. Would you? Do you yeah, look like but, you disagree with that? One nah, of the main not reasons. Disagree, but. Yeah. We spoke to, I sent a voice recording to someone at like 6am this morning who just jumped off, right? And then he yeah. messaged us back. So he jumped off yesterday, messaged us back this morning. He's like, hey, I've just watched some videos on your social media. I'm actually going to go another month. Okay. And his unit size was 10 bucks. He joined two okay, months yeah. ago. He's made $400. And obviously that doesn't sound like a lot of money for the time that he's invested. And we didn't tell him to come back. He just double messaged us. He sent a voice and then he sent this. And I'm like, awesome. Like, because he's on a $10 unit size, he's probably making 300 a month, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem worth it. But if you get through that, like you boys These did, guys, yeah. all of a sudden you spend the same amount of time and you're making 10 times that in so six to 12 ROI, months. Yeah. And then I said to him, look, I'm not here to convince you, but if you can fit it in your life, and he's like, I've learned so much, but I'm just going to cut it for a bit. I've got some busy shit. And then he just came back and said, I'm going to do it now. And I'm like, awesome. Keep building because in six months time, you'll be on a 50 to hundred dollar unit size and it'll be worth it now because you can justify, yeah. I've just spent five hours and have made 50 bucks. It's like, eh. But if you make five hours and you've made 2K, then all of a yeah, sudden exactly. it's the same. So on that topic yeah. um, of like larger unit sizes and why it's worth investing the time and, you know, being patient at the start, maybe you guys can, obviously, because people like, even there was a comment on TikTok yesterday, like nobody's making, nobody's making large amounts of money from there. Nobody's making large amounts of money anymore because there's hardly any promos or, hardly any specials or you can't get this much money on promos or you know the comments are like oh so you guys you can only max out at 50 bucks no one can follow with a larger unit size than 50 dollars because that's the promo cap yeah and it's like brother yeah on one bookie it is but if you have 20 or 30 or 50 if you're running an operation you can get more than 50 bucks on right like i don't understand how people don't gather that concept but do you guys want to run us through without the without the specifics because we don't encourage or coach people to scale but it's very common like the people that are taking it really seriously 
are operating accounts in their, their mum's name, their dad's name, their mate's names, whatever. And as I said, it's not something that we coach, it's not something that we teach, but it's something that's very possible. And the people that are going ham in this industry are doing that. So without diving into specifics of whose accounts you've got and what you've got, what does, like, give us a rundown of what scaling looks like. Like, how do you operate a unit size of greater than 50 bucks? How many accounts are you managing? Are you managing, like, is it, all the smaller bookies, is it all the majors? I know the way that you do it is probably quite different to the way that Maxi does it. But do you want to give us like a little bit of a run now? Because there'd be people listening going, especially like members, they'd be like, all right, how do I get to, you know, yeah. what kind of setup yeah. do these guys have? What the fuck? Like I'm running 15 bucks and it's hard. So do you want to give us like a bit of a rundown, what the week kind of looks like and what kind of setup you got? So and also it. how long, like obviously you didn't just go from 10 to 100. Yeah, like yeah. you talk, talk about like how this actually developed and then as Tom said, how it looks when you actually do it. Yep, so obviously, if you join nowadays, you kind of get it all taught to you. It's way more personal than when I joined, what, a year ago. But it is all the same kind of stuff. So it is a long process um, going from, what, $12.50 to now at 100 But yeah, operating in of like family members' names, friends' names. Um, and like the, the actual setup of it is I've just got a monitor, monitor next to me, you know, bet fair up on one of the monitors, and then all the bookies... I've got a phone, I've got an iPad, all different like devices. Um, it, it's not that hard. It's just obviously double the time to, yeah. you got to get the tips on in time. Um, you have to have a setup. Yeah, like, you, you have to have a setup. Not, but you're not it, doing you're this willy nilly off your phone. Like you don't just run a hundred dollar unit size at the park yeah. with your mates drinking beers. Yeah, no, like it's, you can't do it. it's a proper, yeah. it's a proper setup, right? But that's why, you know, you got to like, make it's the sacrifice three, four, you make. Like, I don't, month. like, yeah, well, it pays out like, more. Correct. One of the videos I watched, what, like a few weeks ago said that you can, you know, you can bet at the pub, you can bet it. But like when you're at a $100 unit yeah, size, you can't course. really. But it's just the people that are joining saying they want to still enjoy their Saturday. For the first six months, seven months, you're still going to, you can just do it from your phone. But, you know, I've obviously decided to scale up. You don't have to. I say to Definitely. everyone, you don't have to. But yeah, I've just... So you're running, well, and we'll get to you in a second. I yeah. know yours is very different. But so you're running $100 unit size. How many accounts do you have active and set up? Like not like who they yeah, are and what um, they are, but how yeah. many accounts do you use to run the $100 unit size through? 40, 50. 40, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's that's a good mm. ballpark figure for people yeah. that are thinking, all right, how do I get to the next level? All right, first yeah, but of all. But you don't want to rush it either. Definitely like I said, not. But same as with the plan, like yeah, for your setup, it'll come. Like you, everyone has probably their own like unique kind of yeah. way they do it. But going from 12, you don't just jump to 100 and get thrown in. Like as you go up even to 40 to 50, you kind of understand what yeah. you're going to need to do to, to and get it, to that even point. Even for sustainability, like think of it from the, from the bookie's point of view. If all of a sudden you go from this punter who's trialing the service on $10 unit sizes or whatever, yeah. and then all of a sudden just starts maxing every single every promo, promo in the space of yeah. a week, you've got a massive impulse change right there and the bookies are going to catch on to yeah. that for sure. Whereas if you slowly build your way up, that's just a natural progression of a gambler, right? It's just yeah, all exactly. of a sudden, yeah, getting a little bit more sucked in, more money in unit the size, account, more yeah. money in the account, chasing that dragon a little bit more and it, it, it's you know a lot better sustainably. This is why like, I know we're going to get to your setup, but for people who say it's not possible to sustain your accounts, like mm. that's a dumb, like that's the end of the spectrum. That's like you abuse every promo and that's what people think match betting is. They'll just be like, oh yeah. yeah or can't. just the deposit. Yeah, just mm. deposit, sign up, deposit, sign up. Yeah. Over. Yeah. hammer every yeah. second and third. We had a guy join the other week, he called me off Twitter and he's like, what the f- like, What are you teaching for defense? Like I, I got my sports bet banned within two weeks. He joined and he's in the Discord straight away and he's like, bro, this is like, fuck, like well done on putting all the videos here. I'm not pu- trying to pump myself, yeah, but, but it's so logical as to how you can do it. And like, yeah. if you're patient, as opposed to going 12 to 100, of course it can be done. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. Max is the prime example. We'll get to yeah. Just last comment. Max is the prime example. He started at eighteen. All accounts brand new, basically. Yeah. So it's not like you know we have some people who come in with five. Six, when I started, I had accounts that were five, six years, and they were in a massive advantage because those accounts had a massive amount of history on them, open for a long time, all good. Your account's brand new. Yeah. And what, how many accounts you got banned? Two. Two. Still, still, still yeah, two still out of forty two. fifty. Yeah. Ridiculous. But That's yeah. so nice. That's actually so nice. That's you get like, some that, that like you try to you so try to bad. wager on them and they. They, they like limit it because there's yeah, like yeah. it exceeds liability or something but yeah. like that's only when you're trying to like non-promo on 
massive. I think there was in the Someone this morning, the Discord, yeah, could yeah. like try and put 800 on an NBL match and they yeah. got like... NBL. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you're going against the rules. It's mainly like, like player, <laughs> player props and money stuff. On that. Yeah. Okay. Over under. Like that's but, uh, pure, like that's stupid. Like, yeah. That's taught not to do that, but he obviously didn't know if that was fine. Yeah. So you run a little bit of a different setup. Why don't you give us like a, a brief rundown? So I yeah. don't... Uh, my understanding is you don't have 40 accounts. Uh, 40. <laughs> It, it's it's you around there, that. yeah. It's yeah a okay. bit more. But you um, run ma- only through the majors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've had quite a bit of history with scaling up and some of the smaller bookies with certain things they do. You know, stat yeah. stat, stat stat decks stuff like that. Yeah. Um, You've had a stat deck. Yeah, yeah. I've lost all my um, to stat decks. So you know they'll for scaling up. I won't get too much in the specifics, no, don't. but basically. You can't withdraw your money. It's locked. You can't do anything about it. And Did it you lose really much is, cash yeah, out of that? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. good warning Even, to people out yeah. there. What's a lot? But that's uh, why we don't just like estimate. It's it's about four and a half grand between yeah, okay. three accounts. Yeah, got, it's impossible uh, to teach because yeah, or because encourage of this. it because like, you don't know if, what correct. they're gonna do yeah, wrong, yeah. what they're gonna mess up. So that, that's why and like switched get, on yeah. individuals that are like, holy fuck, this like if I have forty accounts and I run a hundred dollar unit size, this is gonna be elite. But I need to take into account what JP's taught in platinum. And then, you know, make that work for my own setup. Yeah. Like, we're not here sit- sitting there going, all right, you need to have 10 devices. They all need to have a different IP address. They all need to block. Like, we, we can't do that. We're not yeah. going to coach you guys through that. And we don't want to have the responsibility of, yeah. if you do get stat decked, like, we're not going to sit here and go, all right, get somebody coach to sign it for you. Yeah, yeah, no, like, we're not yeah. going to do that. So that's yeah. why we won't teach it, but it is very possible. Um, there are people even, like, operating much larger scale than, you know, what you guys know, yeah. that I know. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, but give us yeah, give us a bit of a rundown yeah. of what you're at, doing now. Yeah, at that point, I was just like, you know, well, I'm, I don't want this to happen again, obviously. And it's a bit annoying, you know, running through all these different smaller bookie accounts and doing all that. And then you look at your major bookies. They obviously, you guys record your bonus bet um, retention like to third mm-hmm. at 65% turnover. You know, as like the hustler hitting 80%, 90% on the regular turnover plus, I try to aim my bonuses back to fourth at yeah, least. Nice. So that's why... If I can, I've learned how to understand how the bigger bookies ban and what you can and can't do with scaling up accounts with them. Um, and obviously, that's the reason now I only use about three or four bookies on a Saturday or a Wednesday just because they got every race, better promos. And I've figured out a system just to basically hammer all of them throughout the day. And then, you know, obviously mix in your non promo stuff and still follow the sustainability rules. But it, it's just been so much easier. Um, just to clarify when you say three or four bookies on a Saturday you mean three or four multiple accounts of three or four yeah, bookies. yeah multiple accounts with yeah. three or four like corporations, corporations. You yeah. so yeah. he's targeting like tab yeah. sports bet yeah. points with bet multiple and yeah. bet. so you're, you're using day, still yeah. 20 or 30 accounts yeah. on a Saturday yeah. but yeah all with the same yeah. sort of corpse yeah, yeah. and because I've just been in like I know it'd be um, a bit different for you guys but having just you know finished high school recently I get you know, all of my mates who've, you know, chuck on those $5 bets all the time. And I say, oh, you know, here's Ladbrokes points bet, whatever. You can still do the same multis. It's just a bit of a different, weirder interface. That's what they do. They just think sports bets got the easier interface and you get a bonus bet. And you say, hmm. here's points bet, you still get your bonus bet. It's like the same thing. Sometimes the odds will even be better. And I, uh, I'll give you 100, 200 bucks and you can go, you know, do what you want with that and it'll cover your loss for your sports bet. I'll take the sports bet and then I even give you $10 every time I deposit into it. And it's just like, oh yeah, easy done. Uh, you know, it works out well. That's elite. That's then nice. they see... Well, everyone's winning. Yeah. Like, and if yeah, they, and if they, win, yeah. and if they yeah, don't see that as a win, like they're like, oh, well, how are you making all this money? Well, it's like, well, start learning, mate. Like the stuff yeah. I'm doing is not, it's not fucking rocket science, but it's just going to take a bit of patience and for yeah. you to learn. And most of the time they'll be like, nah, give me 10 bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then they see TikToks bloody yeah. Steve going, oh, your account's worth two grand. <laughs> yeah, what, well, Steve? Yeah. Mayo's Thanks like, you Steve. fucking pop over it. Those videos. <laughs> they just sent it to him, they're like, it's 20 bucks a deposit now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I've, it. I've had a few, yeah, I've had a few deals go south from that, but that's <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, mate. like, <laughs> nah, if you, if you learn, I liked what you said there because we've made, like, rules as such with sustainability, but we don't know, like, fucking everything we don't own the industry we like things are changing all the time so oh, yeah. when we've got people like you in there and we've got another um a 19 year old who we're actually going to employ full-time next year hopefully um mm. when we get the office and he's like basically going to be a, a what, do, what would you call him like an auditor for bookies um where he's made like this list and because he's scaling on a really high level he's making like 20k a month i've, mm. I've never seen like 
it's outrageous. The level like, like, what, he's, like, he's no, it's like actually stupid. He's like, like how, how insane it is. I was like, what the f- yeah. how the fuck are you doing that? Last like, Saturday, he's like, halfway through the day, like, how much you made? Like, a seven and a half K, pretty shit day. And I'm like, fuck me. Fuck pretty hell. shit like, day. Jesus like, Christ. No, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And he's go, like, next year, I want to make a quarter of a meal, he said. And, like, yeah. obviously, he's going to help us with. But what I'm trying to get at here is, like, we've taught you the, the like, teach you how to fish we've taught you the foundation we've taught you don't do this don't do that there's this that this whatever in in terms of sustainability but then you've gone out on your own Mm -hmm. applying that logic and those principles and those fundamentals to then create your own systems to understand the bookies and make it work for you and that's why like it's frustrating for the people saying it in the in the comments like oh it's not possible Mm. if you learn how to do something and, and you apply your own smarts and then compound that with hundreds of other people. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's stupid. Yeah, it's the same as with anything though. Yeah. Like yeah. They, just because it's betting, they just don't believe it or gambling, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. if you do this with anything in your life, you're going, mm. it's, it's going to work out. The Discord has been elite for that recently, I reckon. Yeah, like it's... people start, are full on starting to like gel off each other and take bits and pieces yeah. of what everybody's doing. And that's, that's the best part of having the community because you can absolutely do it on your own. Like as you said, like we're not rocket scientists, but if you sit there and fast track your learning by just going through the course, operating through the system for two, three months and getting a general understanding of what's going on. If you want to go off and do it on your own elite, but if you also want to like, you know, blend in or speak to everybody else, like, you know, you have access to Max, you have access to Mayo and you're like, how are you doing this with this account? How are you doing this with this account? What's the best setup for you guys? You guys are running completely different setups. Yeah. And, and then there'll be someone that runs another oh, one. Oh, completely. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. like someone will join the Discord, ask, they get your answer, they get his answer, they get a couple other answers and they're like, all right, I'm going to take these bits of Max, these bits of Mayo yeah. Yeah. and this will work for me because I'm busy during the week so I can't do this yeah. sustainability or I'm going to do what Pete does and I'm going to spend a couple of days a week, you know, getting non-promo bets across 40 or 50 accounts over a two to three hour period and spreading mm-hmm. them across. And that's something that works for him because he's really busy. And that's, yeah. as JB said, like teach you to fish, but then you go and fish. We're not going to tell you, do this on a Monday, do this on a Tuesday, do this on a Wednesday, bet like this on a Saturday. Because one, then you're all going to be doing the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. You're all going to get linked together eventually and you get banned. And two, that won't work for everyone. Like that's the beauty of match betting. You turn them on and off like a tap. You're busy, you know, yeah. you're going to the races tomorrow. You're probably not going to follow the system and that's fine. Yeah. Like, enjoy your day. Like, that's what it's for. But then knuckle down next Saturday and then you, you go again. Like, yeah. that's, yeah, that's why I really, really like it. And yeah. that's why the community, especially when it booms, is like, it's sick to be a part of. Yeah. Like, actually, we learn shit. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Every week I'm learning shit off people. Um, But this morning, like, when I picked you boys up from the airport, this is going to be sound fucking so cringe. <laughs> oh, but, like, no. I'm picking up yeah. two young lads from the airport that, like we've actually helped potentially change your life and it's yeah. like actually makes me happy um i don't know like no for sure yeah, yeah. Like, no, it can be yeah, it it fucking nice, nice. Really like you get yeah. messages from people that are like i'm not even a sub man but i watch your multi podcast and i was like fuck me i'm so dumb like i was putting 200 300 bucks worth of multis on every weekend not collecting any of them or like people yeah. like you know i've lost like you know, my dad gave me money for, for, my, for my wedding and I've punted it away or I haven't told my missus that I've lost five grand and this was for an engagement ring or whatever. Like these things happen all the time and people, obviously we don't share these publicly or who they are and how it affects them. But these people are fucking, like it's ruining their lives yeah. and they like come to us because they're like, oh, these guys are preaching shit that I think more people should know. And that's what so many people say. Even when they leave, they're like, my mindset's changed so much. There's no way I'm going to be randomly punting like because you guys have taught me how stupid it is but also shown me that if i use my accounts properly that i can make money and that's why it's nice doing these podcasts and getting general content out there and just like you know people message us like mate i don't even care if you sub but just don't donate your hundred bucks every week and you'll be so much better off Mm. yeah well you know unfortunately in australia gambling culture is just so rife you know and as we touched on before with people starting you know really young online gambling and you know it just yeah to have the effect where you change people's mindset and stop them, the habit, you know, sometimes late, sometimes it's early in, you know, their online gambling journey. But if you stop it, you change them around, then you say you can actually make guaranteed profit from that. I reckon that's one of the key points that you guys definitely have. And then, you know, you see over in America, them just each state, you know, slowly turning on online gambling. You can look at the amount of people that are doing it. It's just ridiculous. Oh, it's going to be, concerned. that's going to be. Australia be on steroids within 100%. Years. Yeah. 100%. Like I was, I was in New York at the start of the year and I remember like being in like bars or whatever and watching sport. Like they love their college basketball. I was there for like March Madness and I was like, like what bet do you have on? They're like bet. Like what do you mean? I'm like, oh, aren't you like 
punting on your phone? Like, do you have like a parlay or whatever? And they're like, oh, no, I don't really do that. And I'm like, mate, if you were sitting in the pub, like if you're sitting in the pub for AFL finals or whatever it is, every single person would have a bet on or a same game multi or a multi for the round. And I'm like, it's only a matter of time. Like it'll eventually be, yeah, Australia on steroids and like the offers and shit that they're doing there at the moment are yeah, yeah, astronomical. I was was reading on it, like they just got apparently, well, this is a supposed allegation that I've read online, so it could be true, not true, whatever. You're not Um, a journalist. It doesn't matter if you are a journalist anyway. (laughs) Yeah, 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 like (laughs) DraftKings, PointsBet, Caesars, stuff, they all went together and they just paid heaps to, you know, in lobbying for politicians to get it up to the Supreme Court. Oh, no Court doubt. That would be unconstitutional. Yeah. And then they're just having a laugh at this point in time. Because <laughs> if you look at the promos that we get in Australia, you know, Ned's deposit 250, you get 250 in bonus bets. Yeah, that's sweet. You know, all these bookies in America, you know, get $1,000 in free yeah, bonus like bets. Yeah, f- like $5 like, bet on the yeah, UFC yeah. main event, yeah. get 200 free. Like, but if you think about it, if you're starting dumb. a bookie over there, you're like, yeah. hmm, let's oh. look around the world. What model do I want to follow? How like, can you who, turn are that down? Yeah. Yeah. who are the most successful? Who are the most successful bookies? Fuck, the Australian model looks all right. Let's just go down that path. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, but why, that's what we had to, uh, five years ago. Like, yeah. Luxbet, no, you guys probably wouldn't even know no, that. I don't exists. know what that is. Like, they were old company. <laughs> they just 700, 700. Like, you guys now would take the piss with that. But yeah. but now, what? probably the max, what's the max deposit offer of any, of any book? 250 one. 500. Yeah, 250 It'd be Ned's lads. Yeah. But you can get redeposits. Like, yeah. redeposits, I reckon, are more valuable now than the 100%. initial sign-ups. Like, if you yeah. can get your account into a position where... You look like a genuine mug. Like oh, Top yeah. Sport were handing out thousands, like t- at the start of spring, thousand, mm. thousand. Like that's a thanks for eight hundred. Some bucks. of the Cheers. real small ones as well, like Gold Bet. Um, oh, yeah. oh Gold Bet, bet and love stuff. Their yeah. <laughs> they'll send you huge ones if you can drain them. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, mate. It makes me want to get back into it so bad. I'm like, yeah, fuck, it'd be so well, nice I, to have a like, little setup. We going. were talking about this yesterday. Um, I've been doing a little bit the last month um, here and there, nothing huge, but. Uh, Again, like for me, it's enjoyment. Like I enjoy sitting and doing it and it might sound stupid, but no, do you so guys do enjoy yeah, like actually enjoy enjoy looking at Betfair yeah, and Friday night, you get little butterflies. You get, you like, get, obs- here we go. You get obsessed <laughs> with it though, like watching your, and you also like you made all this money, but before it's in the spreadsheet, you haven't made it yet. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can't. It's weird. <laughs> like it's, like legit, like I've made all this money, but you can't really tell because you have 40 accounts. Every account goes yeah. up. 50, 50, it looks like you Some of them go down 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't know yeah. until the yeah. end of that. Well, that's yeah. like Jimmy said. He's like, yeah, yeah I just cash. track, yeah. He's like, he's, he's like, yeah, just fucking, I spend my whole day. He's like, yeah. I'm just so consumed by everything that I'm doing. He's like, I fucking love it. Like, hard to get me away from it. But yeah, end of the day, he just punches in all yeah. the numbers. He's like, great. Like, he doesn't even know where he's at during the day. He just knows that, the, you know, the way that he's doing it. And like, you boys are probably the same. Like, we have an edge. Like, you're going to be making profit. Yeah. And you don't have to be like, fuck, we're 50 bucks. That's why I get so frustrated by people in the chat they're like oh what's every race like what's a daily result brother just fucking just keep doing it like it doesn't matter (laughs) like it literally doesn't matter text ask for the daily result in three months like you'll have 100 units in your pocket and you won't even remember it so you have to do a daily result but like i'm sure you're fucking annoying though like yeah yeah, for for transparency and like accountability yes but we yeah tom always like he he made a good point he's like we wish we could not fucking post it. It'd be so nice yeah, to just do monthly results. Yeah. You just be or like a rolling 30-day result. Or, or don't post them. Yeah, like because it's like, it's like, yeah, I <laughs> know, oh, we'll definitely post <laughs> them. <laughs> but it's just like, it's so frustrating because then people fixate on the daily result. And it's like, mate, we, we lose three out of 10 days. Yeah. Like we're going to lose 30% of our days. But, you know, we've never had a losing calendar month. And that's purely because you look at it at the longer term. The daily results okay, providing on the losing days you put you keep it into sp- yeah, in, into per- perspective. Yeah. So it's like literally just be like, oh yeah, losing day today, but I've just had six winning days in a row, or before that. Like you just got to keep it in perspective and just yeah, be like, just oh, post, it's fine. Post I, I didn't even like saying results. winning or losing days. I like yeah. to always keep it numbers. Like yeah, just not even yeah, just, just keep profit. it not even not even a month. month. Just mm, like yeah. Saturday, and then you've got the next tips Wednesday. Just look at it as. Another bet. Yeah, literally. Don't yeah. look at the game. You don't need a it's separate like ongoing days. tally. Yeah, yeah ongoing tally. Yeah. Someone in the chat the other day was like, oh, for example, like it sounds so logical, but I'm, I'm 12 months in, I'm 320 units, and today I lost two units. So I'm, yeah. 200, I'm 318 yeah. units up. Yeah, like, I remember I had, like a, I had a day where I lost a grand accidentally, just made a mistake, and I was so flat. And I was talking to you about it, and you're like, how much are you up at, the, at this point in time? I was, like, I was like 30 grand up or something. And you're like, so you lost like 1 30th of how much you made. And I was like... It still sucks, but yeah, that's a fair way of like 
putting it all into perspective. I think you need, this sounds dumb as well, but I think you need those losses to wake you up, which oh, then yeah. makes you stronger. Like mm. I've made mistakes on one race where you double lay something and lose 2,800 and mm. the horse wins. Yeah, I like, say it to everyone as well. You though, guys like, made it. That's why I say start small. Yeah. Because like the best way to learn is make a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Plus, yeah. if you do make a bigger mistake, like if you've got 10, 15K profit yeah. behind you, it's still, as Steve, like it still sucks, but put it into perspective, like, it, you know, it's whatever to yeah. miss happen. But that, that's where that going. daily result would piss you off more. Yeah. Like, far out. I've lost 20 units yeah, today. Chase like, but you haven't. Like, yes, you've lost it in literally today if you look at it that way. But yeah. in the whole scheme of things, that's just a blip. Like, we lose two units. They're like, oh, rough day, lads. And it's like, Brother, we're like the graphs at 728 units. Like yeah. we've lost two. Yeah. What? Two like two. Yeah. 700, like two. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We're, we're 18 units profit for December or whatever. It's like, how, whatever. Like it's, yeah, it gets mm. me. Have you got any um, good stories of, well, I want to go mistakes first. Have you made any oh, wonders? Yeah. Like what's it <laughs> yeah. cost you? Yeah. Apart from like your, the ones before, four and a half K in stat decks or whatever. Um, yeah, some of the mistakes I made, um, even recently, sometimes just like, you know, I'll be turning over a bonus, you know, five minutes before a race that you guys are tipping. I'm trying to get my accounts organised and, you know, obviously the liquidity in the market's a lot better close to the jump and you get those 80, 90% turnovers. And sometimes I'll just completely lay the wrong horse and, of course, it'll win because <laughs> I just don't, I don't look. It and goes I'm, both ways though yeah. for me. Like, I've had times I've laid a horse and then put a bonus on the wrong one, and then yeah, the yeah. bonus is running the yeah. lays one side. <laughs> double one. It's yeah, double. That's but then yeah. I've also oh, had also, <laughs> yeah, the reverse. Race where there's like the reverse. A hundred Mashani, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Race. There was one race, there was all the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've like, joke. just fucked it up. Like, <laughs> I did it last week with the Greyhound. Oh, no, was it? In Tassie, was. they have those GGs as well. There's yeah, like heaps of GGs. Like some races are like all GGs. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, what's going on here? Too hard. Yeah. So, what's what? That's a good question. So, what's your worst. Like after a mistake or whatever, what's the worst day you've had match betting? Like figures wise, do you remember? Um, I had one rough day. I think you guys went like this is months ago. I yeah. think you guys went negative. We went fifth, negative fifteen one day. Yeah, yeah. I think it was one yeah, month it might have been that day. And then I I did my own bets because there was promos, sports promos going around. And I remember I was backing and laying this team. I loaded all my accounts on like this one team. I think it was an early payout. Um, I can't remember what sport for, but I loaded all my money on that team and I remember I deposited that much money into Betfair to, you know, obviously oh, match it. it. And I've just, like, I've used the calculator, but I forgot to add a zero on my bet stake. Oh, um, no. So I've just I've lost all of this money because, like, the um, early payout didn't go through yeah. and then that team didn't win. Oh, and so I've put, like, the complete wrong amount on Betfair, so I've just, like, wiped... Oh, on a head. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, approximately, was, like, like what are we talking? Oh, approximately figure yeah. for the day. It, it was about, I think, negative 2.6 2. with Trumpy. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, that was my oh, worst day. And I was, so, I, I but, yeah, like but, like, point. for perspective, what like, you you're sitting at though? 50K. Oh, 50 bucks back then, yeah. Um, the... Fucking so it's negative two point six. Yeah, negative two point six. Trumpy in combination with this yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, oh, the the mistake. That was, yeah, that was that, I was 50. yeah, I punched a hole in my yeah. wall. Like yeah. I was <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, yeah, no, because I, I was that mad. There's at another myself. two grand. I was not mad at myself. I made my promise that day. I was like, right, this is day. yeah, <laughs> this is not happening again. Like that was that's what I mean. Though, until like, you after so like, much from the mistakes. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Never do that again. Oh no way. You triple check. I've quad yeah, check. Every, I triple yeah. check every time now. I'm like, alright. But in contrast to that, like, what's the best day? Oh, I've had amazing days, man. Like, um. World Cup recently. I mean, those payouts were just an absolute joke. And being in the advantage when you have like a lot of points Multiple, bets and yeah, sports yeah. bets, you can just absolutely load up and smash them. Yeah. Give, so give us was, how much? Yeah, give us some more details about that. Oh, so heading in um, before World Cup, um, I've you know just been doing Trumpy. I didn't really do much of the promo stuff. JP released a new video on um, World Cup promos, how he did them back in the day, and then. Uh, looked at the, that was the glory days. Had. Yeah, the the actual actual uncapped actual early payouts. I, wish. I cry watching them on videos. Yeah, oh, man, I, I didn't get that. Shit. Is like, just the actual, I wish I got in on it. And you going outside of live better fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship didn't yeah. end up well. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah no. Uh, the World Cup was good. I, I made about three and a half k on it. Um, nice. Which, yeah, if you in comparison to what you were making, it's like not much, nah, but it's a relevant with the, for you. Yeah, like, it, I'll take mm. it. You know, it's just additional profit on top of Trumpy, which you know I'm having a laugh. Probably looking at increasing my unit size sometime in the near future as well. Yeah, but nice. um, yeah, 
no, nah, it, it, it's it's good. You know, if you take it back 12 months, you know, you're getting like $200, $300 paycheck uh, to your email and then, you know, you look at the... God, you look at the end Squeak. of the week. <laughs> you look at the end of the week, and you're like, "Oh, geez, I've made you know a couple of grand, and I've only worked about ten, twelve hours. It's just an absolute yeah, steal." That's so, sick. And what yeah, about you? What's so best nice. and wor- oh, worst day first, and then best? Worst isn't even that bad. Maybe like one point five, and it was literally just two fifty dollars bonuses on a horse, and you laid the and wrong laid one or the something. Wrong one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one. Like, twice in the like, same day. Yeah. Yeah. No, like I just doubled on one. Oh, you get, like, excited. Yeah. You yeah. Until yeah. 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 So you have what, like fifty? Yeah, fifty on like fourteen yeah. or whatever, and then yeah. you had yeah the liability. I think it was sixteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. Don't lay, mate. Yeah. Just can't. Yeah. But what's best? Don't do that. Um, best. That's a good question. Above, I think it was over two k. Yeah. But I, I, I like fucked up. Like, it was a day we went maybe like plus fifteen, but instead of putting one unit on. Um, it was like something to buy. Some, so it was like paying like five bucks. Yeah, yeah. Because I have two of the accounts. I forgot. I f- completely forgot. I put the bets on. So I redid it again. So you doubled so I got it up. Like, yeah. Put like two and a half units on a oh. one unit five five dollar horse tip. And I got off. one. Yeah. Well, that's like that's Huge. like obviously like we don't encourage that, but yeah, that's yeah, all comes yeah, out yeah, in the wash. Yeah, like yeah, you make a mistake, yeah. you fuck up. You make yeah, you a mistake. You never hundred percent. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be placing like if you place twenty thousand bets over the next twelve months, you're gonna make mistakes. Like yeah. that's. And then well, you're also going to have the other side where you yeah. do what I did. And of course. Do you, reckon, do you reckon you guys have, where, with your mistakes, where do you reckon you'd be sitting profit minus? Do you reckon you'd be like, you've lost more from mistakes, you've made more from mistakes, or you're sitting oh, roughly about even? Definitely lost more from you've mistakes. You've definitely lost yeah, more? Okay. Yeah, I'm massively. Really? Yeah. Not done I reckon I'm probably about even. Yeah, I'd be negative. Remember we used to fucking lay those things and then they wouldn't get matched? Oh, and they're then, not even mistakes. That's just your No, stupidity. no, because it never used to be a take SP option for Betfair. Oh, okay, I don't think. Yeah, right. We used to have keep. So we'd fucking load a thousand on something at 220 and then try and lay it at like 220, uh, 210 and then fucking, fucking bombs the start or whatever and now it's like four bucks. And then it just JP's doesn't like, get matched. Like mid run, he's like not matched. I'm like, what do you mean it's not matched? <laughs> I'm like, there goes, fuck, there's a thousand. Yeah, Down okay. the Google. I've been, I've been getting good turnover on those like live lays. I know that you guys don't encourage it. But whatever. if you know what you're doing. I, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've got a mate that does it. Because you can even look at just speed maps. If you've got it, yeah, yeah. speed maps. I just look at speed There's still like, does. yeah, tr- it's the market true, but there's still, that, though. there's an element yeah. of gambling in that because like you're, you are assuming that a, the speed map's correct. Oh, I and still B, lay before. I lay oh, for like yeah, 70% yeah, nice. and yeah, okay. yeah. And then mm-hmm. you leave a little like, bit too. Yeah, leave yeah, a little okay. bit. That's fine. But yeah, yeah. I always lock it in. Because there are people like that run that. services purely on that. And it's like, brother, oh, it yeah, still yeah. is gambling because if the horse doesn't end up where you think it's going to yeah. end up, which is chance, like you're yeah. literally leaving it to chance, then yeah. Yeah. that's gambling. It's mainly in the big ones though, when they fool like the Melbourne Cup, when there's dudes like mapping it up everywhere, like this is going to go forward. Mate, a few years ago, I reckon JP and I turned over like, three and a half K on the cup, yeah. like on the Melbourne cup in one race. Way Bonus. More than that. Yeah. Way more than that. Nah, not more than that. On the one race. Oh, that day would have been like 20, but I remember it was like Constantinople and I was like, JP's like another one, do another one, do another one. I'm like, are the odds still there? He's like, yep, do another one. I was yeah. just sitting so we'd there. Be on like, two different I was just like sitting there twice, in all these yeah. accounts, like yelling out. I'm like 12 no. bucks. He's like, yeah, 12 50 on Betfair. He's like, take that. I'm like, another one. Yep. Take that. And he just kept like hammering them through. Fuck it. Yeah, we just Those are the glory days. What are, what are your... Enough of your successes. What are your mates doing? And what do they think of it? Good question. Like, I have some that actually do... Obviously, their sustainability wouldn't be up there, but they have accounts in there. I think they are... A couple of your mates companies. have sub, yeah. yeah. Um, but they don't have the Platinum Squad or anything. They like kind of ask me, what do I do here? What do I do here? I'm like... But yeah, they, they their sustainability wouldn't be up with... Like but some of them are actually match betting. Yeah, so yeah, nice. one one is, and then the other one like kind of did. You getting just, banned? I don't know. I haven't really talked. Uh, well, he wouldn't tell me if he's getting banned. Yeah. I don't reckon. But. Okay. What are your mates doing apart from runners? Identical <laughs> services. <laughs> well, yeah. My- <laughs> 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 They're gonna be my best this. mate this morning on when I picked yeah. up Mayo. I'm like, how you going, mate? He's like, I'm like, you this guy. He's like, nah, I'm the other guy. I'm like, oh, how you going? No <laughs> Nah, they, like, they're gonna be like, what, are, like, what are your nah, mates actually yeah. doing um well yeah there's those two who are kind of got into match betting um at least they're actually doing it properly yeah like, no it's not a bad yeah thing. they've they've, they've definitely kicked things up um one of them in particular makes um he's on a hundred dollar unit size nice. doesn't follow trumpy but yeah he's he's making me money um other than that most people you know just uni getting in stuff like that um but I'm are they punting still, oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. people people 
like especially my age, you know, footies on this weekend, cricket, something yeah. like that. You just same game multi. Yeah, I've nice. had mates have to like lock like sports bet accounts, like shut them down. Yeah, it's yeah. just fucked. It's so cool. too much. Fucking yeah, up. especially when they're working like trades. Like obviously in the future, it's going to be good, but they're on eleven dollars an hour, and then Friday at the pub, like Friday beers, Friday knockoff. But then you spend eleven bucks on a beer, and then put a bet on as a well, bargain. and it's like there's two hours of work gone. And then by the end of Friday night, yeah, you're pissed, you've lost yeah. 200 on the punt. And for them, that's like a lot of money. Like, And what's sort of like the reaction? Is everyone like, ah, ah lost, lost 200 yeah, bucks like tonight. It's, it's, yeah. it's like nothing the serious. Old just yeah, the right. old right. one leg didn't get up. I was that close. That's yeah. All. yeah. Oh, I stiff. Next I go one, sometimes to my mate's workshop or his dad and one of the guys there bets and he knows what I do and how we teach this. And they're like, he, he wants to win one to show me that he's won one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, you're costing yourself money to prove a point that you can't actually prove, and you're just literally wasting your own money. But like, the, nah, I'm going to get the one. Bookies do it well as well. <laughs> like, stick it up, yeah, I've yeah. seen it all on TikTok. Like that, people put like 500 bucks on a dude to score the first bucket to be a free throw over yeah. in America. And That's they BR quote betting. Post, like, yeah. How close it was. Correct. But, like, it's fucked. There's going to be it, heaps of them. There, there's a yeah, guy lost. at the moment who they've been posting every day. Br betting he's about just a think it is that. parlay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's got a five hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollar payout on, Fra- on France, France to win the World yeah. Cup, and he's been Jeez. riding every fucking qualification every semi quarter. Yeah. And I think that's the last leg. And they're interviewing him. They're watching his reactions when they score he said a goal. He, and he said he'll never cash out unless they verse Argentina in the final. And yeah, they are, and then he said he might not even cash well, out. Well, yeah, that Jeez. that last video he said yeah. I might, but he will, yeah. I think. Yeah. And they've just kind of drain like yeah. drag like, on the fucking You would be story. mad not to cash out at oh, no. least. It was like a like twenty six dollar. Like, yeah, yeah but they're, they're glorifying the riding, yeah, and like, they're glorifying yeah. that one event, which yeah. no, there'd be thousands of other bets, tens of thousands of other bets of those that have Hundreds lost on the first thousands. leg. Yeah, and mm-hmm. we don't hear about them. So no. like, unfortunately. The, the brain doesn't see 999,000 other ones because they're not posted. And secondly, they just want to be that guy. So I'm going to start doing the that other now. Side of the Literally. Yeah. We don't even yeah. have to just show yeah. that. Yeah. That's the genius of sports bets, Instagram and things like that. Like half their posts, they, you know, they got their memes appealing to the younger audiences. They got, you know, those bet slips that they love to post of, mm. um, you know, that, you know, 50, 100 grand, whatever the payout. It's got, got one leg left. It's like... Like, ride or die, it's like, oh, come on, man. I always imagine, like, imagine you made a Facebook group or Instagram group, whatever it may be, like, legends and their losing bets. How many people do you... We should make that. I've I've thought They they exist. They exist. They're called (laughs) called something else. They're called legends and their multi-bets. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. yeah, They exist. They're every single punting Facebook group you see. I know, I know what you (laughs) mean. But, like, like, actually be like, hey, guys, come and post your losing bets there too. The fuck? Just join join all those Facebook groups, man, and just every bet that gets posted in there, put it in your group. Like, put it in the spreadsheet. Those groups are fucking sad. But, like, the whole idea, it's like, no one wants to see losing bet slips. Like, everyone. So it's just like. Unless it was a huge payout and it was really close. Correct. Yeah, lost one. No. Post your one leg failures yeah. and glorify. Actually, how Mint Bet. You are. Have you seen what Mint, Mint Bet do? No. One of the smaller bookies. They've got a We Was Robbed. That's what they do. Oh, it was with W U Z. We Was Robbed. <laughs> and so you get, they do like a payout. Or no, members send in your bet slips to Mint Bet I've every seen week. This, yeah. And the, the, the biggest robbery of the week, they'll pay out the bet. It's mm. like, oh my God, they're glorifying. The biggest robbery of the week is the person putting the money in their account when yeah. they started and then yeah. thinking they're unlucky. <laughs> yeah, just send them a deposit, a deposit <laughs> transaction. It'd be, so, it'd be so nice to be a bookie. Oh, wouldn't it? Start <laughs> fill your pockets. Just, just nah, that money. mail guy, mail bag guy sleep. started a bookie now. Oh, yeah. He's got mail bed or whatever. I don't know what's going really? on there. Baggy bed. Oh, something like that. It's yeah, some, it's called Some tipster. Bit. Yeah, he yeah, started yeah. a... They run bookie. like the yeah. mail the mail bag guys. They like was he the guy writing the bet that he laid? So he, he, he yeah, tipped yeah. it He's, and then he no wrote no he the didn't late. tip it. The, one of the guys that works under him, like they have like four guys that have they're like a tipping service. Like four guys that work under them that tip in like mm-hmm. different jurisdictions. Some one guys like Toowoomba tips. Yeah. One guys like Queensland. One guys like yeah Victoria. And the guy in Victoria tipped. Um, I wish I win. I think it was yeah. or whatever. And yeah, it was like a 2.5 unit play and he was offering best odds. So he was essentially laying it. Like he was offering best odds in any market, laying it. And then he posted a video like <laughs> after it being classic. like, like suck a dick, it lost. And then everyone's like commenting under it, bro, the guy that is under your service tipped that two and a half units. How are you celebrating that? Like, what about your subs? Like, yeah. yeah. Weird. It's such a, if, if there was like a Royal Commission into it. the betting no. industry, oh, it's he pretty got cool. fully rinsed. Yeah, the, if there was a royal commission oh. into betting, it would be so fucked. It'd well, be it's, way it's worse than the banking shit. Mate, yeah, but 
Nah. I mean, it, well, like, something is happening compared to 12 months ago yeah, anyway. Yeah, they, but yeah. hang on. If I think it was ABC, that thing you said ABC yesterday. It, yeah. They were talking about how like Shaq was shaking hands with like the Prime Minister and like he's oh. signing a deal with fucking points bet for millions. Elbow and Shaq. And like, hang on, if you actually cared, you wouldn't be allowing that. But I think that's fully ignorant and it's also just yeah. money. Mm. Clouds everything. Like, because the government's making... I don't know how much of tax millions or yeah millions or hundreds would it be of so billion, would it be a billion? No, I'm not sure. Probably a million. But they millions, must be making hundreds, of tens millions. of millions, maybe hundreds yeah. of millions. Who knows? Yeah. But the point is, why would the government fully police it? Like yeah. they're gonna lose money. Yeah. And oh, they'll, they'll they'll do a cover up job. Oh, like they just pretend they're they'll do, put the band aids on it. Yeah. Legit. So they do it's that like thing. It's their money. Why? Like who is gonna police it? Like it's just gonna be correct. Just a big loot. We're yeah, exactly saying who right. is who is the police? There is an independent. No, no, no. The I was telling JF about this before. Oh yeah, the independent body. So uh, like, I don't want to name the. Well, I don't name the book. Crossbet stole money from me, like th- through and through. It was a scaled up account. They IP traced me, whatever it was. Hmm. They sent out the stat deck. Couldn't do it. I'm like, All right, I just want to even withdraw my initial deposit. Wouldn't even let me do that. Right? They just they hold the money in escrow or whatever it is yeah. they're doing. So I, I file a complaint with the. Well, I get my mate to file the complaint with the. Um, Northern Territory Racing Commission, which is where all these bookies are registered. You, you call them up, right? Or they'll give you a ring after they've, you know, you filled out your complaint form, submitted it. It's this 80 year old geezer who's just <laughs> off his nut. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll, oh, geez, I'll speak to the bookie. I'll give you a ring back soon. It's been six months. I haven't heard a thing. Like, it, the problem is, even if the bookies, especially the these day. smaller ones, even if they do, like, do your dirty, you just, yeah, okay. there's, like, no hope of you getting your money back. So that's that's the problem that Where some do you people turn face. To? Yeah. yeah, it's like they're the police in their own oh, making the rules 100%. in there. But that's a different. I was more talking. That's obviously shit ass. But yeah. I was more talking about just the general rules of yeah. what you can and can't do as advertising, as like saying they're going to try and stop it or reduce fucking. They've done it on pokies. They've definitely helped mm-hmm. there. But the advertising, if they're serious about like actually, well, they are. They it, are changing it, but like yeah, we but all know how much of an impact it's going. Like yeah. thinking about it now, hey, like the whole profit and loss emails that people get, yeah. that has made no impact at all. Oh, yeah, none. Like, I, thought rec- people I thought it would be. I thought it would be massive. Laugh, mate. People, people don't even. Laugh. I don't even open it. People, yeah, people, <laughs> people no, have a laugh. Annoying. People open the nah, first one, have a laugh, and now everyone it just goes straight into your junk. Like you're like, oh, fucking CBF. You can't even access the fucking PDF on the email. Half of them you have to go and log into your account to check it, and you have to go to the my account section and then the statement. Oh, yeah, like, right. that's genius. Yeah, it's like, yeah, your Everyone's statement's lazy. now available They want to go, this, account. bang, click. Oh, yep, 300. But, yeah. oh, you have to log in and see my... No. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that later. Or it's not even the right figure. figure. It's Legit, like, yeah. this is your net winning position. Like, fuck me. Like, yeah. just tell them how much they've lost. Like, yeah. it's so crook. Yeah, they had yeah. all these weird words like net winning yeah, yeah. over the last... Oh, they try and confuse you. Well, they changed it because if I would like to think that video we put out, who knows if it was just us. Well, I, th- I think, yeah, well, Sportsman were the first to put it out. Two days They were getting rinsed it, on, like, all they were their comments. Rinsed. Like, people yeah. were like, this is not right. Like, this is the wrong thing. Yeah, even like, in the Facebook comments. Yeah, all, like, in, yeah, all the Facebook was... comments, like, this isn't right. Like, so, on all their posts. And like, all the other corporates went and did it legitimately yeah, did it as properly. well. So, it made Sportsman look real dogged. So, who policed that? Probably just throw that one under the Oregon was no reputation. Oh, yeah. No, nah, well, they. I remember reading the, reading the document that showed what they had to provide. And they had met the obligation that's so, right. that's so it's just like yeah it's like a gray area I, I, so that was that remember we looked about at it that. yeah yeah then yeah. they that showed that what needed to be literally sports bet followed the template that yeah. was so provided by sports bet yeah they're so, fine so, no, but, but they would have known what they're doing but yeah they of course but who the fuck's doing the template mate who that's my question <laughs> and who's signing off i want to know whether they knew what they were signing off on that's or they I'm actually saying. didn't know like they're just like yeah that looks about right like they're ignorant or is it money no i reckon they've full tricked the bloody Whoever has to sign that off for the government, they've full been tricked and like, yep, net net profit in, net profit <laughs> As out in or whatever. Sports bet send the template and then they said, no, whoever's whoever, whoever made the template, I don't know, sports bet tab in cahoots, I don't know. It's probably I reckon they've been tricked. Like we were all tricked. Like initially, we were all like, well, we, we had to work we it knew, out. We, we knew something, hours to work it out. Yeah, we knew something like, wasn't right, right, but yeah. in that template that was provided, they purposely chose numbers that the profit and loss was actually what the net revenue in and net Which revenue out equaled out so like naturally you'd look at it like yeah that's profit and loss but it was purely they just fudge the numbers it's complicated to explain but they purposely chose numbers that look like it was there to deceive people 100 mm. percent well, the easiest way to template. explain it if anyone was confused is like whenever you want to bet it literally just included the stake as your winning so if you had a hundred dollars on something at five dollars you get five hundred dollars back. They would say you won five hundred dollars when in reality you only won four hundred. So that's mm. how they inflated that number. Yeah. And a lot of people didn't understand that. So they had that inflated number 
and then the losses was correct. So then you add your inflated winnings minus your losses. So you have an inflated net profit and loss figure. And that's when people got really confused. And it's like, mate, all you have to do is look at your opening balance. How much did you put in? How much did you take out? How much is left? That's your profit and loss. Don't yeah. look at these figures. It's, yeah. it's wrong. Yeah. yeah, well, we got a template that we obviously made for it and it was much easier. But like as dumb as it sounds, it, it should be as simple as that. But most people probably wouldn't even be able to I just don't think they Calculate care. Their own yeah, I just don't really don't care. They don't care. Yeah, yeah. People, people don't like, care. If remember, people did care, they'd be tracking their bets or they'd be like, no, nah, I'm putting you know 20 bucks into a betting account every week and when it gets to 100, then I'm going to bet it and that's all I'm betting. Like, yeah. People people really don't care. Yeah. Unfortunately, they just don't care. I was at footy and I was explaining it to someone and I was explaining how fucked up it was that they're allowed to do that and they just look at you like, and? Like, who cares? Who cares? Like, and it's, I just, it's not that deep, mate. Yeah. Literally. And not that like they said that, but... Um, no. They just didn't care, as Tom said, and it's just a lot. But like, that people didn't you know, care. like uh, we obviously play this side of things a lot, and we always talk about, you know, how dare they do this shit, and all of that. And for ninety five percent of people, you're right. Why do they care? Ninety five percent of people don't care. They don't have a need to care. It's not impacting them. Gambling isn't ruining their lives, but they're just the real ignorant side, or e- real ignorance of the other five percent of people who do get sucked into all these tricks and do lose their lives and do damage their families and everything because of it. So, like. It is fine. Gambling does have a, p- a place in Australia. I firmly believe that. Like, I don't think gambling should ever be removed from Australia, but it needs to be done in a way that the vulnerable aren't just absolutely abused and manipulated yeah. to every single yeah. cent that they've got. But when you got like, you know, old mate who's lost five grand with Neds or sports bet or whatever, and you know you're sending him a text message every day saying, "Mate, deposit another grand. We'll give you two yeah. k in bonus yeah, bets or whatever." Fact. That's that's where like I that's predatory. There, that's, there should that's there, there should be a line that the government has to draw there. Like you know, he's shown a history of just being an absolute degenerate gambler, yeah. and you're just going to suck him in for more. Like, and what happens? What what happens when you yeah. when you self exclude yourself, and then they still send you a text message, they still send you an email, they'll still promote to you, still advertise you. You've self excluded. Yeah. You've literally said, "I'm an addict. Get me the fuck out of here." You exclude yourself, and they'll still send you a text. Yeah. And, and then what out. do they say? Oh, sorry about that. That was a mistake. We won't do that again. Sure. And then they'll go and do it again. <laughs> And I'll make another mistake. It's like, fuck off. Yeah. So you've got, I know you've just said that the predatory side of things, you don't have to tell us about this if you don't want to. But yeah. I remember you said there was a way in which you were manipulating that to gain for yourself. You don't have to say it. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'll talk about it briefly. I don't want to get into too much of the nitty gritty. Don't go don't specifics. Give it all away. Yeah. There's, there's, Max is like, tell me off here though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a um, certain, I don't, I don't want to say no, social don't, don't me- oh, yeah, engineering. Yeah, don't or, say the bookie either. Yeah, I don't want to say social engineering or anything like that. But there's a way that you can convince bookmakers that you're a losing punter when you're not a losing punter um, and, you know, use that in your advantage to gain deposit offers. And that's some of the script you can follow. And as unfortunate it is, you, you, feel, you almost feel guilty because if um, part of what you were saying was true, whatever, you know, you're a degenerate gambler, and they're still, you know, preying on you to deposit into them. That's probably, you know, you feel guilty in doing it, but then again, you're making money off of it. Because so it's, it's a such a, a true story for yeah. someone, like, in reality. Yeah, it's yeah. relatable. Actually, it's yeah. happening every day. They hear it every day, so yeah. they another one. Yeah, and, yeah, it's just, it's such a big problem. But, you know, I'm having a laugh because I know what I'm doing with it, and I'm sure some other people are too that have discovered the trick, but... <laughs> It's like, we don't care, like, you know, we're, we're like, rah, 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 don't gamble, right? You know, have an understanding of what you're doing. But we don't care if people gamble, right? As Steve yeah. said, like, it's, it's never going anywhere. The gambling industry provides hundreds of thousands of jobs across Australia. That's fine. But we would just rather people have an understanding of the consequences. Like, you know, if you drink too much, what happens? You know, yeah. if you smoke, what happens? Like, you can't advertise smoking. You can't put anything on, you know, any of the packets or whatever. You yeah. know not to do drugs or, you know, that what happens if you do lots of drugs. Yeah. You know all these things. Yeah. But no one has any fucking idea about, like, the, the real depths of where gambling can take you. And it's a fucking slippery slope. Like, the money that is in your accounts, like we discussed with Jimmy, the money that's in your accounts, it, it, they've made it so, they've done it so well that you don't mm. even feel like the money in there is real. Like, you don't understand. Mm. It's so easy to, you know, Apple pay money into your account. Oh, you don't even have to. Like, yeah. if, you, if people had to hand over cash... Yeah. physically or someone be like you know you've lost 800 bucks this week are you sure you want to bet this yeah. next 50 anything like that or do you know that you've lost you know 20k in the last month are you sure you want to bet again nobody knows where it can go so yeah. no one really cares yeah, people just look at it like even like, i'm going to be honest like even i look at it differently like i will willingly place three units on a horse but like i don't want to spend like 
two hundred dollars on a jumper or something. Mm. Like it's yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like because yeah, it's not. It doesn't bet, feel like it's real. With an edge, I'm betting like with an edge, lose. but like still, Long even time. I'm sure people no, that don't have an edge would. Yeah, well, people are like oh, I'm not going to pay for a trainer. I'm not going to buy you know nicer food or whatever. Mm. But they'll of course they'll just deposit. They'll just Apple Pay fifty into oh, their sports yeah. bet, hundred into their sports bet, mm. punch I mean, it away. Even before Apple Pay, you still have to grab out your wallet, put in your CVV, and then you realize, oh yeah, I'm actually taking money off this with Apple Pay. You just put your face at your phone. Yeah, straight in. You know, like you only see it when you actually log into. Yeah, I just think I just wish that everybody knew like what the worst consequence consequence was like all the other things and then if you make the decision to do it that's fine but you need to have all the facts and nobody has all the facts or it's very well hidden or you know gamble responsibly like fuck off like they don't yeah they don't mean that doesn't mean that gamble responsibly slide it at the end I got a message I got a message from Textbet the other day I don't know if you guys got it about a sign up offer I mean a redeposit offer you're the offer. only person in Australia who's got your text about promos well they got a yeah. they got a redeposit offer it's because you kept donating I don't even use them yeah it's because like that one day yeah, literally one day one day at JB's donating. yeah there was an offer and we yeah. took it so but they messaged me and they're like this is a sign up offer and then they didn't have gamble responsibly at the bottom and then they sent another text message a couple of hours later. They're like, oh, apologies. Make sure you're gambling responsibly or whatever. Like they, obviously that's a, that's yeah. a law or whatever. Yeah, cool. So then they sent through another text yeah. message and I was like, fuck, that's pretty funny. Like, They've changed them all now. There's like, oh, you know, the score, stay in control. They got all these different slogans. Well, there's yeah, going to be the 10 should, next year that yeah. they have to recycle on every ad. Yeah. That's like, a new law that yeah. is apparently going to change the game. Think about how much you could lose or something. Or like, like you, yeah. you, you win, win some, some, lose most. Lose more, yeah, yeah. yeah, lose more, whatever. So easy. Well, I, I don't know if you guys have got any other questions for these blokes, but can I, I, do you want to have a break? We, we've just had a break. Um, Maxie's filled his um, hydration requirements enough. for the day. Tom's hydration station. Gone through one and a half probably bottles. I wanted to hear the story about you trying to get a credit card. Yeah. When was that this week? Uh, no, nah, this was probably two or three weeks ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just had like, obviously, because. I got a lot of money moving in and out of my accounts with deposits and stuff, having so many accounts. So sometimes, if my you know a couple of bonuses went on Betfair and my liability goes out and I got a low Betfair balance and I need a deposit and I don't have the money, then obviously the only way to turn over bonuses is two or three way Dutch that way until I get you know paid or withdraw or whatever. So I went into the bank and I was like, oh, you know, look, I'm looking for a credit card. This is what I need it for. I understand there's a high cash rate, you know, twenty two percent or whatever it is, which I'm okay with. Um, and then Fuck me, is that what it is? Yeah, the cash advance. Twenty two point four nine percent. Fucked. Yeah. But it was only gonna be literally in like I'd probably use it like once every three months. I just need it as a fail safe to make sure I'm still hitting eighty percent turnover, ninety percent turnover. Yeah. Anyway, I was I walked in, I'm like, oh, he's like, Yep, I just need you to fill out this form. I've you know, filled it out online on this little computer. And you know, it's, it's asking your income section, he's like, you know, what are your job? I'm casual employed, I'm a pizza delivery driver, I'm like six hours a week and I make hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> six hours. And they're like bucks. It's like, what are your expenses? I'm like, oh, I got my car, I got my rego, I got, you know, petrol, um, just normal spending money, utilities, subscriptions. And they're like, mate, you, you're you're spending more than you're earning and you want a credit card. And he's like, oh, but no, but I got like, I, I match bet. So I just try and explain to them what match betting was. And at the end of the day, they're like, nah, nah, it's gambling winnings, you know, you can't count that as your income, which is fair enough, but <laughs> it's just, just been laughing at you like... Oh, it was it was an awkward conversation. It was a very awkward conversation. But you'd um, leave and he go, "This fucking mug." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this degenerate no, gambler. Like, what is this credit card? What a fucking idiot. He's probably just going to use it for sports bet anyway. <laughs> that's oh, well. yeah. That, that's that's like the one downside. Like a lot of people are like, mm. we get questions as well. Like doing this pretty seriously, but you know, I want to buy a house or I want to get a house with a miso or like, yeah. you know, mm. what do I do? And like, yeah, like it, it's a little bit of a gray area as Simo would say, it's like, it's not, it's not the best thing, but you can, what you can do, like, if you're looking to do like run a full proper operation, like if I was you, I'd have all of my betting stuff. I mean, it's a bit different because it's basically your sole source of income, but for a lot mm. of people that do it on the side, you can literally open up a second bank account, mm. one of those micro online banks where the, whatever the fucking, it's yeah, up or U-Bank or, or, or whatever yeah. it is. And, run all your betting through that on the side, right? Yeah. Allocate. This is why we tell people start with a bankroll that you're happy to use whack that in your U bet or a U bank, sorry, or your, your up bank or whatever and leave it there. Yeah. So if you start with, start <laughs> yeah. with two grand, yeah. you know, put it into some of the accounts that you need, but leave yourself with like a little kitty yeah. there. And as it grows, that's, that's your investment. Don't touch mm. that. That's on the side. You're not going to need to access that money. So leave it there. And that way it's all separate to your bank account. So if you're getting yeah. all your salary or your expenses coming out of this bank account, yeah, you know, Tom, Dick and Harry don't need to know about this one. That's fine. Yeah. Like you're not doing anything illegal. And then you just yeah. operate all of your, 
income daily expenses yeah. through here and then when obviously it's different because you don't yeah. have like a proper source of income but someone like max he could have yeah i'm working 20 hours a week at a cafe i'm making mm. 700 bucks i don't pay rent I, my car cost me three grand a year and then you're like yep cool this guy's making 20k yeah. and he's spending five we're happy to give him a three grand credit card yeah. like yeah. that's very easy for people to do 100 oh, just yeah. on the U bank up there are a couple of betting agencies that don't like those companies no, well, yeah. but just make an a example. combat or whatever but yeah. what yeah i would suggest the big ones i know you've yeah. said a and z are quite good yeah. um but like exactly as tom said if you're if you're getting a loan with nab mm. i know this is probably out of gray area as you said and you've got your betting in a and z yeah how, do they talk to each other? What's yeah, the well, that's where you got to think if it affects your credit rating at all. The amount of no, I don't think it doesn't. No, it's not your no, credit no, rating, no, but no, like I've, you know, I've worked doesn't. in the, I've worked for banks for ages, and they will hundred percent like they have their own category for gambling, yeah. as like yeah. a when they're looking at your, you know, whatever you can afford to, whatever you can afford to lend. Gambling is a category, so if you have regular 100, 200, 300 deposits, and even though you're not losing yeah. and we know what you're doing, you're turning them over, yeah. you can't, they don't care. They're not, I'm you fucked. can't justify you can't, it. You can't just, you yeah. even if you have like really nice, like even if you had 200 in, 10 grand out, they don't yeah. care. They're yeah. only looking at what you're putting in yeah. because if you are putting money in, that's looked at as a, like yeah. a liability. Well, it's a fair, it's a fair um, stereotype. It's of course, for 99% of people, yeah. they're going to be yeah. putting more in than they're taking out. So they have to, have to consider it especially yeah. in australia like we're, we're such a bad gambling nation mm. which is what yeah. like a lot of people don't really understand that like that's it's a full liability yeah it's responsible lending like they're not just gonna yeah, give of money to gamble with and after the royal course, commission yeah. like they they're you know everyone's fucking top notch they used to they would have let like they used to let through fucking anything it wouldn't have mattered but now it's like yeah. you need to meet all these requirements you need to be able to pay back it five percent over whatever the rate is like they're, they're not just yeah. giving out money like they used to it's a lot harder to get a yeah. loan so that's one way that you can clean it up and people that are working a lot of, you know, making a lot of money working full time and want to do something on the side, match betting, that's that's an easy way to do it. Like, oh, yeah, 100%. Leave your bank, like set your bankroll up at the start as if you're yeah. going to put money into shares portfolio Yeah. and then leave it there. Yeah, that's, that's literally what I did. I mean, I had, you know, when I first started, I took money out of my savings account because I was like, you know, I can earn whatever my interest rate is annually, like monthly compounding through my savings account in my bank or I can put it into my stocks and get, you know, maybe 6 8% a year. Or, you know, I'm pretty confident in match betting and, you know, whatever ROI I can get there, I know will be better than um, no stocks or savings. So it's a no-brainer to not mm. obviously take out everything because nah. you're going to make mistakes. And That's you why you need to do that. Yeah, a, yeah. Allocate, yourself, of, yeah. allocate yourself an amount you're comfortable with and, you know, just work it up from there and soon you have a little nest egg on the side that you can always tap into. So I've got a question going a little bit off topic here um, to both of you, but you've sort of brought it up here, Mayo. You're talking about sort of investing and obviously you're looking at, you know, good savings yeah. accounts, term deposits, whatever it may be. Did this, has this always been an interest of yours or is this something that has been sparked from match betting? I know personally yeah. myself getting into the finances of markets and match betting has definitely, you know, push my interest further into other financial sectors. What about yourself? Is that something that's come from match betting or you're always sort of interested in that? Your parents might yeah. have been into it, whatever it may be. Uh, I'd say my parents are probably into it yeah. quite a bit. Um, they self-manage their super, so they're always talking yeah, about okay. investments and stuff at dinner time. And, you know, I was, you know, just had my savings account, my checkings account, and I'd just mm. go back and forth. I didn't really invest in anything. You know, with match betting and, you know, Hustler obviously teaches a lot about the mindset. And it's all very similar principles Money management required. and stuff. Yes. And, you know, then I, you know, I can look same, at... Yeah. It's the same yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah, 100%. It applies to everything, right? Mm. And then I look at other options where I can put my money here, put my money there, investment properties, you know, positive, negative gearing, whatever. Have a look at that. Mm. So, yeah, 100%. The, the mindset that, you know, Hustler and Trumpy help you teach applies throughout your life when you talk about like the financial discipline side yeah. of things 100 percent. absolutely i think it's 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 a bit of an interesting one people would hear us talking about sort of match betting the system hustler and talk hearing it in the same conversation as you know negative gearing positive gearing negative investment gearing. and people would be like Forex. fuck off you're Did not you? even yeah, yeah. yeah like you, this isn't the same but we all know, all five of us sitting around the table here know that the skills that we're learning through match betting and through the financial principles, the mindset required, mm. whatever it may be, it all is going to help out further in the future, which which is where I think for you guys, I know personally how much it helped me. You know, I didn't get into it at you guys' age. It's going to be such an advantage, I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you guys have different different opinions on it, but learning them from such a younger age, providing obviously there's such a stereotype, 18 year olds, you know, they, they don't know what they're doing. They can easily get trapped, which is something yeah. we get criticized a lot for. 
um, because people are like, oh, you're just luring in these 18-year-olds who don't know any better. Obviously, you guys are very switched on. You're pretty sort of financially sound for people your age. And it's going to put you in such an elite position moving forward. Mm-hmm. I'd like to think anyway. I'd yeah. like to hope well, so, yeah. Even yeah. like like the stuff that I know about mindset, about even like any investment in general is just like when you actually talk to people about it, some people just know mm. nothing. So like, Yeah, but that's not even 18 years. That's yeah, like that's just that's like everyone. Shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Match it's betting just like is saying. just it's it's just investing. Like you're just it's there's no it's no different to like if you're match betting every day or keeping your accounts up to scratch or whatever you're doing. It's the exact same as if you're day trading stocks it's or the same anything thing. It's day just trading different, crypto. It's, yeah. it's different but numbers. it's all it's, it's still numbers. investing. Yeah. So all the principles still apply. Like you don't want to overexpose yourself. You don't want to do it with emotion. Bankroll, like it's literally all, all, all of the same. Yeah, yeah. controlling yeah. your bankroll. How much do you have on? How much you have on one trade? Yeah. How much you have on one bet? It's Bulls literally stop loss. Yeah, set it's all yeah. it's all yeah. the exact same. Like it, so, when people are like, oh, you don't know shit or whatever, it's like, brother, jump in there, learn it, and I'll promise you, it's the exact same. Like you can apply so many of the things that you're doing towards your bankroll management and everything towards any trading. If you want to trade crypto, you want to fucking do whatever you want. You want to invest in shares. Sure, if you have ten grand, you're not going to go and put it all in, you know, yeah. Fortescue Metals or whatever. Like that's stupid. That's so mm-hmm. dumb. Same yeah, way as match betting, you're not going to put. 10 grand of your of your bankroll into your sports bet account like that's yeah. so dumb yeah. so yeah you can learn so many things from that and if you learn that at 18 19 sure you might not be trading the markets for another five years 10 years whatever build up your bankroll but the other thing i wanted to ask because you have done a bit of it and your parents speak about it at the table like there's no better roi than match betting you're yeah, not going to get a better a roi smaller, yeah like putting 20 dollars in put 20 dollars in a crypto and yeah. pumps 100 percent. you make 20 yeah. bucks yeah. yeah put it in here you can because like it rolls over on itself. Yeah, that, that's what I want to talk about. Sorry, do you want them to answer that? Well, I just want to know, like, you know, for ROI sake, if you have five yeah. grand, sure, you put it in crypto, it might go to five grand, but it can also go to zero. Whereas in yeah. match betting, it ain't going to zero. Oh, yeah. Unless you fuck it up yeah. and gamble, oh, yeah. which is your own fuck up. But yeah, well, that's not yeah. correct. That's not match it's betting, it's correct. the best investment on the planet. And I challenge anyone right now to find one better. There's three things you need to do in investing that you need. Everyone, Forex, stocks, whatever. And you guys should know what it is by now. It's... Obviously, uh, money management, which is staking, um, stop losses, all that stuff. It's all around that term, money management. You've got mindset discipline, which affects money management. And then you've got edge. Match betting, investing, whatever it is, stocks, it's all the same. But the only one where you can get an edge yourself without doing any analytical stuff is match betting because they're giving you the edge with the promos, with the specials. You then have the first two consistently within the like appropriate like money management and discipline and you can't lose yeah so yeah as well as that you've got the roi yeah you can put in a k and have 100k like you said you started with two thousand dollars yeah and yeah, you've I'm made legit the same started with you've yeah, made I joined 50, the hustle squad i had three grand in my name hustle squad was a grand had like two grand what's yeah. that goes 15, into the book 15 times your yeah, investment yeah, yeah. more yeah. 18 times oh, your investment yeah. what's yours like 25 times oh yeah easily yeah well, but like that's almost, yeah, unheard yeah. of. Like, and a, people would sing, sing the people would sing yeah. the roof. Yeah. You buy Rio Tinto tomorrow at a hundred bucks. Two thousand five hundred percent. It's gonna have to yeah. go to literally uh, twenty five hundred dollars a share for you to get the same return. Yeah, well, it got to the point like, mum and dad would ask me like age weekend like, oh, you know, because they see me on the table on a Saturday with all my screens going and doing this, doing that. They're like, oh, how much you make today? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, this much. You know, I made a grand, whatever it is. Sometimes we'll be like, oh, you know, I lost a bit today, but it's okay, I'll make more next weekend. It got to the point where dad's like, oh, can we work out something where I give you money and then you guarantee me like yeah. 10%. That's what everybody does. Everyone says that. Everyone says can, you that. Give me, can I give you yeah. money and you just do it for me? Like, nah. Even my mates are like, can I invest in you guys? And I'm like, yeah. brother, just like, I would love for you to just do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I get so shattered. All my mates post like, still post all their multis and oh, stuff. Yeah. Like, or some of my mates are on um, Argentina or France with the better <laughs> thing. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you beauty. I'm like, lads, like at least, like for my sake, please at least just guarantee yourself like 300 bucks. Oh, they're so all in like, Brazil, weren't they? they all got Some done. of them were on Brazil and they were like posting all those bonuses. And I kept telling them, I'm like, take it. I'm like, you can lock in 350 or whatever. That's that's a great deal. Like you, they're still they three games short, away. I, I got like 272 oh, Do you guys have seen their voice? I said? Yeah, I got like two. I didn't want to predict, but that was fucking stupid yeah, no, odds. I, I did. Like pre- unders. Yeah, I Everyone overreacting like, to like I had a little bit late and I was like, oh. $2.72 to win the whole World oh, Cup. Yeah. They need That's what you laid it out. Matches. Three more matches. Three yeah, more so matches. I oh, fully yeah. got you it. nailed it. I fully, yeah. I legit, yeah, fully nailed it. Yeah, nice. Hit the perfect spot. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So like, yeah, I'm just like, you know, you guys have great, and this is the thing, like they'd be better punters. Even if you don't want to do match betting, if you just took all of that um, investing advice, like, you know, don't bet with emotion, manage your bankroll, 
edge is obviously the thing that they're not going to have. But even yeah. with the first two, if you implemented that to the way that you gamble, which is what we try to talk about in our podcast, you know, don't bet with emotion, understand the chances of you winning your multi, so on and so forth. If you adapted that and bet within your means, like if you have a hundred bucks to bet, yeah. don't bet a hundred dollars on your first bet because then if you want to do that's fine, but understand that you're done for the weekend. You can't bet again. If yeah. you bet again, you're betting with emotion and outside of your bankroll. So if you if you just applied even the first two to the way that you bet, you'll fucking lose way less. Yeah, way yeah less. that's the thing. People like, there was someone in the comments, I said, just keep a consistent betting size that's like one one hundredth of your total. Yeah, 1%. And someone's Think like, oh, that. but you'll just like lose it all eventually. Anyway, it'll just take longer. And I'm like, exactly. That's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly that what it's better designed than to do. Losing it today, fucking <laughs> rather than next. If you want to do months. it for fun, do it yeah. for as long as you can. Yeah. And yeah. then, or you got like I know how you said there, you've got um, you lose your hundred for your day, you're done. Or you can just keep digging into yeah. the kitty, just go like uh, old mate on Twitter that just keeps posting and and un- never yeah, yeah, like bankroll. within a bankroll. But then it's like, yeah, but what roll. happens when that one ends and you put more <laughs> put money more in? Like that's not how bankroll works, man. Like. But these are like, yeah, these are things that I would love. This is what I mean. Like you just, just learn these basic fundamentals correct. before you start betting and everyone would lose way less. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah. fucking, like uh, Jimmy said, they try and complicate everything and overcomplicate. It's, it's so simple. It's yeah. that simple. Money management, emotion, edge. Yeah. Two, the third one's not even relevant. Just Especially stick to the emotion. And the, yeah. the, mindset. the emotion's the most important because it impacts number yeah. one. But number one will cause you objectively yeah. to lose. Yeah, but well, with, with gambling, you got to take like, well, match betting, you got to keep the emotion in check. Like yeah. the moment that you put on a multi or something, and you know that you're just fucking doing it. Like it just it just ruins your whole mindset, you know, because it's just so tempting to see those odds. If you're like, oh, if it wins, I'm just gonna win that much. It'll be silly. Yeah, so they only be, yeah, like wins. imagine like if I win this, like I'm taking all the lads out tonight. Like it'd be yeah, fucking, well, it'd be a fucking fill up, man. And, and then you first leg. Well, we've got like, um, like, SBU's got the big Argentina. Um, but it's on to finish the World Cup. He's got um, 1.65 million riding on it. And like for us, if you had a 1.6 million dollar payout right on Argentina and Messi to win the Golden Boot, yeah. what would you do right now? Hedge it. Yeah. Hedge this is like insane. Yeah. yeah it was, it's like yeah. we've like whether we've taught that or whether you've just developed that it's, mindset. It's, it's just the correct fucking, thing to do. It's the right answer. Yeah. Like it's just. But like what if it? What yeah. Do. I'm I mean, just. I'm waiting for the odds to go down because a while back I put my um a couple of bonuses on Argentina to win at 13 bucks so I'm having a laugh now well yeah you'd, you'd hope that you're hedging yeah. now before oh the final. yeah 100% um, if you're not well, you're yeah, just Sunday, just, yeah. Yeah, waiting and you don't even have to hedge the whole amount you can hedge it along the way oh yeah this is this um, is what I sort of try to make the, the point of in my yeah. video um, is people don't want to be like nah mate I still want to have a gamble on the game it's like you can yeah, do that people think that so yeah you, you can like Hedging is a spectrum, right? You can hedge 100%. You can hedge 50%. Obviously, we always recommend hedge 50%. Like, because that's just mathematically, you're just going to get the same result no matter the outcome. You're going to make the same amount of money no matter the outcome. Or hedge 100%, depending on the way you look at it. Yeah, but, yeah. So, like, if you've got $1,000 riding in the line, hedge it so you make $500 no matter who yeah, wins sort of thing. Odds, yeah. If it's $2 odds. But you don't have to do that. Like, you, you can choose to go wherever you want. Some people, like... A mate of mine, for example, he he had Argentina and then he went and put 650 on France. So he's gone, he's, he- he's hedged it the other way. Well, he's just um, gambled extra 150 on France. Well, but yeah, but he yeah. still hedged it. Like he's still, he's still going to make 300, 350 or something if Argentina win. And he's happy with that. And he's going to now make 550 or something if France wins. So it's like, that's still a positive. It's it's not textbook hedging. It wouldn't be you know you know down to the T of exactly what to do. But at least he's got a, he's, he's further along that correct mindset of now he's going to lock in some guaranteed profit. And so you can still have a bit of fun within the hedging if you still want that thrill factor. But yeah. just take some profit. I don't know if you're saying something different to me. No, well I was going to say the easiest way to simplify it. Like a lot of people are like yeah, but I'm on at hundred to one dollar odds, and like why would I why would I cash out? Like I could win a thousand bucks. And the way that I said it to my mate yesterday, I'm like, you could win a thousand bucks. Absolutely. I'm not denying that. But would you be more shattered if you could have won a thousand and you made nothing or you won 700? Spot on. Like you, instead of winning a thousand, you won 700. Which which scenario will you be more shattered in? Like if you lost yeah, $300, zero. so you cannot lose. So you're in a scenario where you cannot lose and then Argentina win and you won 700, but you could have won a thousand. Are you going to be shattered or... Are you? But if they lost, you're still gonna make 300. Or in the scenario where you're like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do anything, and he could have won a thousand, and then you win zero. You're gonna be yeah, way more shattered in that situation. The all or nothing is how they want you to do it. And yeah. I like to just go back to your scale of hedging. If you mm. got a coin that you buy at a crypto coin, let's just use it like fucking what's the one that Doge or um Doge coin something. Like the other one that went up Shiba. massive Shiba. 
If you bought, let's just, I'm using arbitrary numbers here to make it super simple. If you bought Shiba at a dollar, I know it wasn't that, and it goes to a thousand, right? Along that way, you've literally made no profit until you sell it. So instead of going, I'm going to sell it all at a thousand, you can sell 20% of it at 200, 20% of it at 400, 20% of it at 600. So even if that crashes back to fucking 0.1 of a dollar, 10 cents, mm. which, um, it, which it did. Mm. which it did, you've now made nothing as opposed to if you did hedge, you would Take have had profit. profits. Yeah. And all, you're never going to pick the perfect. It's all numbers on the screen Correct. until mm. you cash yeah. out. You don't like try you and pick the perfect people spot. With like, uh, like crypto shit, they've got a live trade open that's up like four Bitcoin, but like it's not until you yeah. cash it exactly. out. Like They're bragging about yeah. it. You haven't got and anything. And it's all yet. nothing. It's yeah. like you can either win millions or zero. Yeah. And most people because they don't know where they're stopping go to zero. Yeah. But that's investing one one Obviously, you, you buy the buy the the valley or whatever they call it, buy, buy the bottom, sell at the top. No one knows no, where the bottom not, is. No one knows bullshit, where the top is. Unfortunately, so you got to you got to like you got to take like a little a little bit as you go up. As Correct. you go up, as you go down, that's like exactly a, 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 like a very standard strategy in the stock market. As you go up, sell. As you go down, sell. And then you're just going to at least average around near the top. You're never going to hit the top. No one knows where the peak is. Exactly. You and can't predict the future. It would it's be it's like, exact same as cashing out or hedging. It would be like us following the system, right? We're, we're putting a consistent stake on, on most of the horses, like some are two and a half, mm. some are two, some are 1.5, some are one, some are half. You saying we're going to hit the top is like, we're going to put, we're going to hit a winner at seven mm. and we're going to put two and a half units on that. And we have to, because like, we know it's going to hit, we're going to put the max unit. You yeah. don't know. Like no, it's yeah. just an average of everything yeah, and exactly the average right. of edge, the average of money management over time makes profit. Yeah. Same as investing. So The most frustrating thing will be um, whether it's my mates, whether it's comments on TikTok, whether it's your mates, is like people, so people are going to win this promo, right? And they're going to think that they're gods. Like, lucky I didn't cash out because it yeah. won. And I see JP get tagged in like Facebook things all the time. And it's like, dude, yeah, no, maybe no, maybe you are lucky, but like if you were in the position where, you know, most people were on that, well, I can't even remember, Doville legend in the Melbourne Cup. Like if you cashed out there, you'd already have, you know, 350 in your pocket. And then if you made 700 bucks, in this situation, like you take the 300, 700 option here, you've still got more from that scenario than letting them potentially both ride. And at the end of the day, man, it can lose. Like you could have two opportunities to make money and make none. Or if you take two opportunities to make money, you make 300, you make 700, and you're in a position where it's a 50-50 and you don't need, you don't have to rely on a certain outcome. And I just... Like I personally find it hard for them to not grasp that concept, mm. but I mean that's you've yeah. got to keep hitting gonna, home until you keep I going. Think it's with the it. FOMO. I want to break that down. Let's let's keep it very simple. Imagine with better, there's five options that they they had a market for. I don't know if they had four, six. I don't know. Let's just say they had five. I think it was six. Let's, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, as in all the different. For, like, yeah, for that NBA 101 NBA. Yeah, yeah. for all the 101 markets. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna say five just for ease of ease of example. So, yeah. five markets. I reckon every single market you could easily have made. $200 risk-free on every single market, right? That's five markets, $200 that's risk-free. Grand. That's a grand right there. So you could have easily made a grand basically risk-free on those markets. And I'd say that's pretty conservative. I reckon you could probably get sort of 12, 1300. <laughs> so you could walk in there and you go, all right, I'm going to put my five $10 bets on and I'm going to guarantee myself a grand. So I'm, I'm essentially guaranteeing, guaranteeing that I'm going to hit a winner on one of those five bets. Majority of people won't hit a winner on any yeah. of those bets. So they're going to walk away with negative 50 bucks from, from their outlay but you could have guaranteed that you just walked away with $1,000 risk-free guarantee. Mm. Which one are you going to go for at the start? Like, I'm going to put these five bets on and guarantee that one of them are going to hit or I'm going to let them all ride and chances are none of them are going to hit. Like, Well, I'm taking the grand. I'm taking the I've grand. I've taken the grand for Everyone's seven, eight years. Everyone's taking the grand. The grand. Like, they, they want the win. Yeah, yeah they want they the win. Want yeah. the, you know, Bucks won, yeah. the other five lost, but the Bucks won the championship. Whereas yeah. You, yeah. It's the same thing. And, and the counter-argument to this is a lot of people will say, and it's technically correct and you've explained this in the free chat you said someone's like oh but aren't you like restricting your upside in yeah. your ev and you are but there's not enough sample size for correct. you to have your ev come out in the wash as we like to say so if you had you, a thousand yeah. markets or correct. a thousand cracks at 101 odds right. let it that's ride fine. for sure let, that's let, essentially let what the system is built off correct but yeah but if you got five you're not allowing the, the actual average to come out yeah. and then you're done you might hit three but yeah i was gonna are, say like there's yeah. positive variance someone might hit all five yeah. but you know over the over the mass they have three hundred thousand customers or whatever yeah. they got you know two hundred and ninety eight thousand nine hundred of them won't hit one mm. Mm. like that's the yeah. maths and yes yeah. there will be some people that post in those facebook groups showing that they hit all five fantastic brother but everybody yeah. else in that yeah, facebook group didn't hit hit, didn't hit one. Oh well they well but yeah it's like, like that, that kind of odds like to be honest like there are you know at least they're in a position where 
most people their favourites, right? Most people are just going to back the five favourites, okay? And yeah. the first one, Melbourne Cup, you nice. had a position to you could have made like at least three hundred bucks on that first one, and most people back Brazil and they would have had a, they would have been in position again to make another three hundred bucks. So. If you're taking the favourites, which, you know, yeah. that's the most EV, the only, like, you yeah. need to be taking the opportunities to make money on them. The only way you could have increased your sample size with this is if you broke up your $10 bets into a $10, $1 bets. Yeah, if you but had you done 10 different that, accounts. Hey, no, you couldn't. You could you could do that on, yeah, your, you on can, the one account. On the Melbourne Cup, you could put a oh. dollar on, which, on 10 You could do it with... Yeah, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, I didn't let, know that. So they let you oh, split I up. I thought they didn't let you do that. No, yeah, they, they split up. It was $10 you could outlay on the market. increasing your profitability on the, in well, terms of your chance your probability sorry but you're, you're capping your upside no 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 you're, you're increasing you're your unit size you're, you've still got the same EV but you're just, you've just got more cracks at it with a smaller unit size so now instead of putting yeah, $10 on one yeah. you're putting well, like the, the one gross amount of your upside like obviously yeah, because a grand you're going to make to $101 sure sure but I'm, I'm saying that there's, a, the there's a chance that you're going to hit probably every single market then yeah so that's how you could. That's if you're going to let it ride. Yeah, that's if, a way that you could increase your sample size. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. the volume of profit will be lower, the but volume, the likelihood but your max of getting profit, a better ROI on your investment is much higher. Hang on, yeah. but your max profit for that's only at ninety, hundred and one hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're you're, to 10. you're you've got a much higher chance of hitting one of them. You're looking at total volume of profit. How many promos are we doing? You'd be, Five. You'd still? be hitting. You'd be hitting fifty. 50 you'd be bets? putting fifty bets on. Or only you could do it either way. You could. You could put twenty-five on. Your max five hundred. No. Yeah, it is. You're right. I'm, but, I'm not. But but yeah, there's okay. a there's a higher chance of you hitting that 500 than there is of you hitting the thousand dollars. Like, because there are heaps of monkeys yeah, yeah. that would have backed yeah. like you know things that are no chance. Like you know, for example, you know, yeah, some some idiots would have honestly been on Australia and stuff. Like, and they're no yeah. hope. They're done. Yeah. So you, you have no chance. Australia, Whereas if you have if you had the ten yeah. fav- if you had the sure. ten <laughs> back else. somewhere else. you had the ten <laughs> favorites at a dollar. Like you would have you would hit gold trip that was in mm. the top ten in the market. You would have hit. Well, you would have had all the. All you wouldn't have had Morocco, but you would have had Argentina, France, Brazil. You're going to take the NBA. You're going to take the AFL. Yeah, like there's, yeah, yeah probably. I mean, I'm not an NBA expert, but there's no way there's more than ten nah. teams that are going to win the chip. Yeah. And AFL, there's no way there's more than ten yeah. unless there's a fluke. Mm. I don't know just anything be about the NRL. Sleep. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but blues. even with yeah. your example, you've said you can hit him, but mm. you're still going to make more from your example. So. Like you've made a grand on just hitting. But there's up. more. There's Christ. more luck. There's more luck though, hoping that your selection gets deep into the season. If you just back one, you have to back the right one. Whereas if you have ten, you're way yeah, more. Yeah, if you hedge it immediately, you make two hundred. Like immediately, like you don't even have to fucking do anything. Yeah. Only on the favorite though. Yeah, if you and in some favorite. of those markets, there's no liquidity. Like you're not going to be able to lay AFL, NRL, Whereas NBA. A, barring a disaster, like if Brazil got knocked out in the group stage, but you probably would still hedge it before then because there would be enough liquidity. That's if done. Tick Doville yeah. would have been ticked before the race. Fucking NBA reckon, tick. It'd be enough. Yeah, well, I reckon a lot of people didn't hedge in the Melbourne Cup because no. they shouldn't have the liability in their bet there. That would have been a lot of the problem for people. Well, that's like, the thing. And that's yeah. I mean, the yeah. spend money fucking yeah. idea that oh, they're spending. Yeah. Like, if you had Dover team. Legend, I did the mask side, I used the promo, and I did hedge it, and it was all right. But, like, the liability on my horse was, like, 1.6K, and some people just don't have that. In How many bet did you have? Oh, uh, literally only two. Oh, two. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> I should have put a lot more. I was, I was an idiot. I could have I could have made some real money off. I, I told my family, I'm like, everyone get a better account. I'll write it out. But it just, like, <laughs> went over their heads. No. And I was like, really? Oh, right. uh, yeah. yeah. I, they, they, I only, they would have been pretty hot well. on like same addresses yeah, that's and stuff. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, have, yeah. I, I, I only have mine on my business. I think it will still be more valuable. Like we told our subscribers and community to just hold off, wait to see what they do with bands because those accounts will be way more valuable if you keep them open for two, three years as opposed to maybe making yeah. you know. A they have bucks actually off. started banning a bit as well. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, they did. Yeah. A, they definitely did a sweep yeah, after Spring sweep. Carnival. Yeah. Yeah. people are just hammering like they had fucking hundred dollar bonus back if they come second, third on a fifty yeah. solid yeah. state. Double, like, yeah, double your double your winnings. Back. That was a people piece. just yeah. hammering. Yeah, du- yeah, yeah. Finish you actually second, win third, more fourth or fifth. Yeah, yeah, double, yeah, yeah rather than lose. If you back a two dollar horse, if you're turning it over, yeah, yeah, They got such weird promos as well. Like their their top accounts, the people who are losing more get like insane promos, and then you have the other people that only get like four races on a Saturday bonus. Yeah, well. Did, so did they take Techspect's customer data? I don't know, but a lot of people's data yeah. did get yeah. transferred. They knew they knew some, things about the big, customers. All the big punters yeah. on Techspect. But that's that's them. the other yeah. thing as well. I called up. Um, I was doing some research on my own accounts through the spring, um, and I called up or I asked for a deposit offer on a new bookie, and he had data from seven years ago on my name from another bookmaker, and I was like flabbergasted as to how he knew that. And when I was on the phone to him. He said, oh, oh, we've found your data from XYZ Bookie from six years ago. And in my head, I'm like, oh, fuck. He's going to like say, you, you, no, no chance of having promos. 
I will match 500 bucks first deposit. <coughs> All right, cool, done. Bang in. Uh, match bet, match bet, match bet. Uh, yeah. Account $6,000. And yeah. I'm just like, yeah, that's done. And then I text him back, my VIP manager. I'm like, hey, any more deposit matches? I'd like to withdraw some money. Is that going to affect our relationship? No reply. <laughs> <laughs> done. So he got sucked. So, no, he, well, he's got like a, a customer base. He, let's just say he has 30 people that he manages and one person goes plus 6K. Yeah, and yeah. 20 other people are negative 10. He's not going to fucking message yeah, me anymore. He just texts yeah. another 20 again and Correct. you're done. And he realizes that I'm probably half smart punter and unfortunately he went the wrong way. He wanted to lose, but yeah. Um, yeah. It's just funny it how they managed to get... I wonder how up. much of that though they look into your betting activity to make that decision or if it's purely profit and loss because you do hear stories of gamblers who win like... 100,000, 200, like a stack. Well, I, and then they continue to like entice them purely because they know that, like generally speaking, you hear that they get banned instantly. Okay. But I've also heard stories on the other side where people have won an absolute stack on an account, but the bookie <laughs> must realize and identify their betting activity and identify mm. their betting patterns and go, now nah, we can like lure this guy in and eventually he's going to yeah. give it back, it, which does happen. At right. the high end, those people, sorry, th- those people would 100% get looked at manually. Yeah. And for example, super multi tips. I'm just going to say it. He he made 600k, right? And they've enticed him. He's yeah. getting deposit offers still on his lad. Correct. Yeah. And I think maybe not three, three six five. They don't really give deposit offers, but that is just yeah. That, but if he's making 30k he, a month from if, prof from betting, they, they wipe you out straight minimum. away. But because of the way that he's betting, yeah. like, if this guy does they this know. for three years on yeah. our accounts, he'll give it all back. It's simple math. Yeah. And they, they profile. They know exactly. Like I could tell you right now, if I interviewed 100 gamblers and how they bet, we could all tell them and people would laugh at that but you could look at someone's account statement oh loser yeah oh, 100%. loser loser yeah. loser oh yeah he's got consistent yeah. stakes he'd probably be yeah, maybe yeah. break even and then you get people that are posting their wins on sports bet and posting about million dollar fucking payouts on on uh sports bet and then you see them celebrating it and then you're like well hang on if he's winning a million dollars yeah, well, how, yeah, yeah, and how are they letting him have that on there yeah so and then you're like oh hang on a second losing 200k a week so yeah, it doesn't maybe. matter <laughs> well, i don't know about that but <laughs> no i'm just like but for example <laughs> like you're only seeing out. that money. Yeah. you're only seeing the win 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 post his statement he's probably still he may be up 500k for the month yeah but they know that if that person keeps betting the way that it that's is, going yeah. fucking minus yeah. two mil over five years yeah i've heard i've heard of people who like hit big on a multi you know, up in the tens of thousands of dollars mark. And then, you know, from someone who goes putting 10 bucks on a multi every so often, they go from $10, to, you know, maybe to two grand on a multi every so often. They gamble that winning away. They might withdraw a couple of thousand, but they gamble it away to the point where the bookie, you know, offers them uh, deposit two and a half grand, you know, get 50% match bonus. Best. And they're going, oh, I would never fucking deposit two and a half grand. But because they're so used to staking that amount after their big win, they might actually go ahead and do mm. it. And I've seen people like um, in discords and stuff that have done that. And they've just gambled it away and they get into that trap of just depositing too big of sums and they just lose that money management side of things even though you're a gambler you still need the money management like you're not going to be depositing hundreds and thousands of well not hundreds of thousands but hundreds of dollars a week into bookmakers you need to know like you got to set your limits and that's the problem and that's what the bookmakers are preying on that people lose those limits and then just they just keep depositing and betting with large sums well unfortunately that's what happens when you win and sometimes winning actually fucks you more. Mm-hmm. Like Matt Hill, we interviewed. Yeah, if you win and you put, like, oh, uh, imagine if I had $10 on it, not a dollar. <laughs> and then they try hit it again next classic. time with the biggest stake. And then you're fucked. That yeah. mindset will literally yeah, drown you, like, mindset. straight away. And that's, I actually feel sad for that guy that we all talking about on on Instagram. And I, I genuinely feel sorry for him in terms of, it's not personal. He'll probably get angry with me saying this if he ever sees it. But, like, the the uh, the like tendencies he has and the emotions and the, the like, addictive shit that you can just blatantly see is sad that someone and that's just one person there'd be millions around yeah. the world thousands tens of thousands in Australia like they're fucked they got no hope yeah. until they wake up one day and they've lost five million or, like even the I ones mean, that like there's some that message you saying down fifty k but just like that is like that is an anomaly for them to even find your content and message you yeah. So like yeah, reading that, sh- reading that's shattering though, and that's why I yeah. like when like there are comments like, "Oh, everyone can control their gambling," or you know, even my mates are like, yeah, "Do the, the fun police," and I'm like, "Bro, like, it's not. It's like it can literally become like, it, yes, it could be a bad habit, but it's like a disease, bro. Like the people that are yeah. addicted to drugs and shit, they don't just wake up addicted to drugs. Like the same thing. Like if you have 
problem drinkers, you know, your mates that drink way too much every time they drink. That doesn't just happen from day one. It's like a learnt yeah. habit and then it becomes like a fucking problem. And it's the same with gambling. You can tell you can tell someone that gambles all the time, mate, just put your phone away, don't gamble. It, it ain't that easy. Yeah. Like you can't yeah. just stop mm. because you see something that triggers you or you're sitting there or you've had a bad day and that's that's their vice. That's their get out and that's and you can hide it. We yeah. spoke about it with Jimmy. Yeah. Like you could be sitting there punting. Mm. I've checked my phone know. ten times in this podcast. I could have ten bets, and you, yeah. you, none of you would have yeah. any idea. I'd be three winners, well, being. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one can see. No one can see my account. Yeah, yeah. And, and like that's Except how it's such a slippery bookie. slope. You just, I can just put money in. I could bet. None of you have any idea. Just sit here, emotionless, and yeah, it becomes like a thing where it's just it can be fucking scary. Yeah. Like I feel sorry for those people. Touch on what you were just saying then as well is when if someone's addicted to drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, whatever, generally people have. I'd say an empathetic reaction to people. I'd say a, a, a much more empathetic reaction to people. Generally, society, people would be like, oh, did they have a tough upbringing? Have they gone through a divorce? Has, has something happened in their life? Yeah, that what sort triggered of, it? What triggered it to, for them to get into alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, whatever it may be? Generally speaking with gambling, no different realistically, but people would say, oh, well, that's their fucking fault. He's a dickhead. Yeah. Why are they doing that? Yeah. yeah. Like, well, hang on a second, Where, where'd your empathy just go all of a sudden? It's, it's releasing the same chemicals yeah, in the brain, on. but all of a sudden, people just instantly pin them as the reason behind it. But generally speaking, it's probably they've had a rough upbringing. Their dad was a degenerate gambler. They were influenced by certain things growing up. They're looking for, for an out in life, and they've just chosen gambling. But society just like, nah, it's their fault. Well, that's where we want to go, like, in the next couple of years. We want to go down that helping awareness pathway where it's just like, Mm. Again, Tom always says like we're not anti gambling, we're not anti betting, no, we're not anti punt. fucking That's whatever, fine. but we're not we're we are anti uneducation and stupidity. Mm. Yeah, anti throw your life away. Like, yeah, literally, yeah. Just, literally. Yeah. But like you boys sitting here at whatever, eighteen, nineteen, whatever. We spoke to someone who's fifties yesterday and he's had thirty five years of like shit and yeah. it's taken him fifty years to wake up. Mm. You boys are not lucky because you've done it yourself. I don't like to say anyone's ever lucky. Make your own luck. Yeah. Correct. But There'd chance. be so many guys at your age who are going to go down the next 10 years and just wake up in 32 and they're fucked. There's yeah. also thousands of blokes our age that would see our content and think that we're either dickheads or look at it for like five minutes and be like, nah, I can't be fucked doing this. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. I a lot of the mates. can't be like, fucked. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've talked at my gym, like literally know, yeah. like watch all of your shit, like know that I'm on there, but then they still like come up oh, to they me. They see you at the gym. Yeah, they come up to me and show me like, Oh, these are my tips for the weekend. Like, I've got them in my notes. I'm like, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. That is not how I do it. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, that, that's what I have. Like, the most common one is someone looks through one of my accounts that they own and they just see the betting history and the account balance. They're like, oh, bro, um, how do I, I want to get into this and shit. And give I'm me like, a tip. You know and I'll, 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 I'll send them a link to your Instagram and I'll have a look and they're like, no, nah, I can't be fucked. Yeah. Just send me your tips for the next week. Like, <laughs> no, no, that's what they are. That's what like, yeah, it's that's it's always true. just the classic yeah. lines, just send me your tips send for the next race. Someone this morning said, are you just a tipping service? That's what his messages are yeah, the that. DMs. I don't know if you saw the better or what he saw, but I responded to it, him this morning. Yeah, okay, I haven't seen it, but it's it's when a little bit more to it. <laughs> what happened? I said when I missed the turn off. Yeah, no <laughs> indicator. Yeah, I don't have an indicator either. <laughs> disaster. Anyway, I reckon Jeez. we've um, we'll wrap it. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap, wrap it, yeah. it up. It's been a pretty good podcast. Cheers, lads. Yeah, thanks um, very much. Wally, no worries, pleasure. Mod, um, <laughs> <laughs> pleasure to have you here, boys. All Looking good. forward to a few beers tonight, obviously. Definitely. A, few. Have a bit of a celebration. 100%. Yeah, and I can't wait for, like, to, to clip this one up and hopefully a few people will, like, wake the fuck up. Like, jump yeah, on board. 100%. Jump on board. Like, just try it. Give it fucking... Don't even through. jump. Just Give it a fucking month. learn. Just, yeah. think. Just, just watch think our yourself. free shit. Don't pay us. Just watch some of it. Literally. Give it three to four hours over a, a week yeah. and guarantee you, if you watch it and learn yeah. some shit you'll get something out of it for yeah. free. You don't have to pay us. Even if you're busy, like it's not going anywhere. You know? the, the, the course content's always going to be there. Correct. If you've mm. got, you know, you got time this weekend, do an hour here, busy next week, that's fine. Go back in another hour. Like, Put it on while you're driving, put it on yeah. while you're at the gym. Book a free call, do whatever. Free call. Like, I'm, I'm going us, off send the grid, so Tom's going to be doing all the calls. So yeah, abuse yeah, him. Um, do yeah, whatever you want to do. But no, thanks guys. I appreciate coming down and obviously help. was good. Hopefully help people. Cheers. Yeah, sweet. Well, see you lads. Beautiful. Take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. Merry Christ. Oh. Merry Christ. I'm good. Thanks so much for that, mate. Beautiful. What's the damage? What are we at? <laughs> we always go over. I was going to stop it at like 12, but then we just went on a roller coaster. So yeah. How long do we have? Oh, just give me a winning tip and I'll let you off. <laughs> <laughs>
At least he's listening. Yeah. <laughs> Before he, he thought the bookies were their guy in the aprons. <laughs> <laughs> the bookies were Ladbrokes and stuff. Yeah. Now it's <laughs> But yeah, you, the you amount of people I know that like, know, all, know all your shit. Yeah. Hey? And like my brother wanna... talks to like, his yeah, mates no, at work, and, and his mates like well, message I... me like, got any tips for the weekend? Like, there was a time. Or I like, go for beers, yeah, and they're like, 20 years oh, ago, yeah, you're gonna be here for the braces, you can give me some tips. I'm like, Next what mates do it? Yeah. What mates do it? Yeah. 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 Ye
The deal does not give a fuck. Head. No, exactly. He has no idea yeah. what he's dealing with. Like like the only problem is that yeah, you've got to play it over such a large period of time for your edge to come to the floor, and then that's when they potentially start being like, I've got So then you've only got one turn that table side. Yeah, yeah. I just put your four into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, you'd have to be a full operation. Do you need my laptop? Um, Should we just worry about it Monday? Only so I need to get back to work. I didn't take work. Today off. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a message yet. Though. Hey, this is great result. <laughs> get your schnoz out of it, Max. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll deal with Max's schnoz in a second. We'll get that on. We'll get waffles. We'll get some footage of that. Some JP shit footage. Once me serving bombs, you kicking. That was Tools. busy. Where do you play? Back pocket. Back. Yeah, Lock on. <laughs> <laughs> and he just nailed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he tries to do. He like texts me, he's like driving a footy, he's like, I'm so angry, I'm gonna nail someone today. I'm like, fuck. Alright, I'll go. Alright. Did you put that catch on the story in the end? Yeah. Did you see that? He's catching crew. No one would have known it was him. No, no one would have. No, I didn't say it. Fuck it, absolutely. That was actually a good catch. It was actually a belt. I know it won us the game as well, which was in the back. <laughs>